Hello, everybody. We're going to be playing some Castlevania Symphony of the Night today. I figure this will be about two or three parts. I don't plan on binging the game all the way through in one sitting. Although it is possible, I will binge the game all the way through in one sitting. I rather like this game. It's like one of my favorite games in the uh, Castlevania franchise. The uh, primary one, my favorite, is uh, Castlevania oh wait, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Castlevania Aria of Sorrow than this game. This game has the, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, th this game in particular has the best aesthetics and art out of any game in the franchise. But um, <clears throat> if we uh, look at Aria of Sorrow, it has the soul mechanic. And if we look at uh, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, it has the soul mechanic, but refined over uh, a lot of uh, details. So, Bloodstained Ritual Night is basically a super cut of all the best Castlevania, uh, like Metroidvania content that ever existed. That's the best way to explain it. Uh, give me a second. I'm lighting a candle. It's one of those, uh, what do you call it? Apple, apple spice candles. They're nice. They, they're, they're, uh, apple is a good scent. Anyway, uh, how's the feedback been on the Starfield uh uh, what do you call rambling video that people believe is a review um mostly positive but you know there's a there's a bunch of people who um they they go to the video page they listen to like the first five seconds and then they immediately leave a comment and leave and it's usually along the lines of well, this game isn't for me. I don't like it because they heard that I uh, love the game. And it's like, yes, but it's also kind of terrible. <laughs> so uh, the game, I mean. So it, it's it's interesting. Like all the feedback I've gotten has been generally, um, in, generally either agreeing or uh, filling in their like their point of view. You know, not nothing extreme. Uh, the only extreme comments were from people who never watched the video to begin with, in which case their opinion isn't valid, so who gives a shit, right? Hmm. It's like with Diablo Immortal. Um, sa same thing happened with that. Is you know, people, like, uh, they join the video, they leave a comment, and they leave, and it's like, I can see when you do that, so um, congratulations. Hmm. Anyway. Um... Yeah, yeah. So, Symphony of the Night is um, one of the best Castlevania games, absolutely. But it's also one of the worst Castlevania games in terms of, like, classic Castlevanias. Rondo of Blood is the best classic Castlevania game. If you want the best place to start Castlevania, if you want an easy game, uh, try Super Castlevania 4 for the uh, Super Nintendo. That's, uh, that, that's going to be um, a good entry point into the franchise as far as, like, cl classic Castlevanias go. But Symphony of the Night is probably the best uh, place to start as a um, as a Metroid band. Mm. Name is peasy. Okay, we're journeying back to the Transylvanian countryside of Romania. It's kind of funny though because. Um, if you actually have a chat with uh, people from Malakia, they'll be like, um, excuse me, that's our national hero you're, uh, you're slandering with your vampire nonsense. Uh, uh. Oh, no, I, I, I can't do CRTs anymore. They hurt my eyes. I have uh, four uh, liquid crystal displays and three uh, in like a, uh, uh, you know, one straight ahead two as like wings and then one up on the wall behind me besides it's a psp game like uh, imagine crt for a psp game oof 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 all right no this isn't the playstation version okay <laughs> All right, so this is the end of Rondo of Blood, but, uh, you know, with superpowers, because superpowers. I do like the uh, general mechanics, though. A lot of crazy stuff you can do. 
People of the, uh, the new effects, the layering effects that they had. That's all good shit. Excellent. I don't remember how to do, like, the forward dash, to be honest. None of that, uh, none of that memory stayed with me. All the items I'm picking up here, we will be able to pick up uh, later in the playthrough when uh, we're doing the real playthrough. This is the prologue, so it doesn't count. But you can kind of see what you could be picking up later. In the meantime, uh, grab some hearts and go. So the first thing I like to do personally is to, uh, Dracula, die now and leave this world. You'll never belong here. Oh, but this world invited me. Your own kind called me forth with praise and tribute. Tribute? You're a thief. You steal men's souls, their freedom. Freedom is always sacrificed sacrifice to, to faith, faith good, good hunter. hunter. Are, or you, are you truly here, here by, by choice? choice? All I'm here for is you. To hell with your heresy! You're nothing but a blight on mankind. Mankind. <laughs> mankind. A cesspit of hatred and lies. A cesspit of hatred and lies. Fight, Fight for them, for them then. And die, die for, for their sins. sins. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Whoop. I meant to hit Dracula in the head. My bad. I don't care about getting optimal Alucard stats. I really don't. So despite... Um, Despite knowing how to do this, I choose not to. Oh. That's a fine. True power! True power! Oh, hello. I'll take that. He'll hit his second phase with Hydro Storm, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't care about that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> One hit, and uh, Maria's gonna come in and save our asses. What's that? Four beast gods! Yay! Four in unkillable. That's it. <laughs> it is now easy mode. Alucard also has nerfed stats at the beginning because, uh. Oh, whoa! Got it. Um, Hydro Storm! Very good. Count Dracula had risen with the aid of the Dark Priest Shaft to menace humanity once again. The legendary vampire hunter, Richter Belmont, stood against him and at last brought him down. However, four years later, on a glaring full moon night, Richter mysteriously vanished. Maria Renard set out to find him, but knew not where to begin. It was then that fate intervened. Castlevania, the castle of Dracula, rumored to appear once every century, suddenly materialized from the mist as if to show her the way. Meanwhile, powerful forces struggled for the soul of a man named Alucard. He who had once fought alongside Trevor Belmont against his own immortal father, Count Dracula himself. To purge the world of his own cursed bloodline, Alucard had submerged his vampiric powers and fallen into what was meant to be eternal slumber. But now, he awakens to the cackles of evil and cries of the innocent. The eternal battle of good and evil has come full circle once more. 
Dracula's castle beckons for you. And no man can say who will emerge victorious. All right, Rondo of Blood is over. It's time for Castlevania Symphony of the Night. This is the sequel, the direct sequel. Damn. Turn that down a little bit. Yeah, it's the direct sequel to Rondo of Blood. So, here we go. Symphony of the Night time. As we did terrible against the fight, uh, oh, sorry, uh, during the Dracula fight, uh, we have greatly nerfed stats with Alucard. Uh, Alucard could have higher stats than this, but um, uh, uh, sad days. Anyway, we have all the best gear in the game. The Alucard sword, shield, dragon helm, um, Alucard mail, twilight cloak, necklace of J. And we have nothing in the other slot, but the point is we got, we got the best gear in the game. So these enemies, they die in one hit. Cause we are just that badass. All right. Nothing's gonna stop us with, uh, with this unstoppable gear against these low level enemies. That's right. I love this song, by the way. It's my favorite Castlevania track. We just gotta level up. Damn right. Gonna see if there's anything in the middle here. Guess not. A lot of enemies. Ooh. Oh, ow, 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 I'm freaking dying. That wasn't what I intended. Okay, that is a way back. We're gonna ignore that for now. Cool. Give me the hearts, I guess. No hearts. Awesome. We're almost there. Turkey! Excellent. Now, we must, uh, I, I, again, we, we have the best gear in the game, so nothing can stop us, okay? <laughs> what is your business here? Uh, death. I've come to put an end to this. I'm an insolent boy, but there will be no games here. If you will not behave, be gone. I will do neither. Step aside, old man. <laughs> Such arrogance. Very well. But I shall see you very soon. <laughs> no gear. At all. I can punch my enemies! <laughs> okay. It's fine. It's, it's really. It's, it's okay. That the the, uh, the death skip that people do in speedruns trivializes the game. What is the Soul Steel command again? It's like I'm trying to remember. Uh, I, I did the, I did the Dracula teleport fireballs. <laughs> so. uh and I got a short sword. Cool. That's uh, that's good. Yes. Oh, it's better. It's better. Better. You said two thousand USD PC to play twenty five year old game. Well, um, kind of. Except this is like this is even better. It's a PSP version, like a, like a a handheld version of the twenty five year old game. We're, we're we're emulating this on multiple levels, like. It's great. All right. Um, hell yeah. Now, uh, what was I gonna do? Uh, how do I back? What? What? Uh, there's the back dash. 
Uh, now what was it? It was like down? Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh well. Um, I, I'm, I'm like blanking on how to do soul steel. Oh, the cube of Zoe. Let's just uh, see enemy names, I think. Something like that. Let's, let's see what the cube of Zoe did. Uh, bu -bu I'll cause items to materialize. So you get, you get better drops, I guess. So you can like turn off your item drops if you you don't want them or something. Makes sense. Item drops are a feature of the video game. Now I have to figure out Soul Steel. I think this is this is gonna drive me nuts if I can't figure out how to do something basic. Uh, and yeah, Symphony of the Night, and then it was uh, Alucard spells. Yes, spells. Show me the spells. Okay, what we want to use is Dark Metamorphosis right now. That's our first skill we want to use. So, should be like that. If I remember correctly. I am failing at this. Um, yeah, it should just Dark be that. Got it! Excellent. So now, when an enemy bleeds will be able to uh, steal its blood. We'll be able to steal all its blood. Okay. Let's go. Unfortunately, skeletons don't bleed. So that is uh, sad days for us, but that's fine, I suppose. Um, I'm gonna check this area out first. Oh, it's a save point, which means heals. Excellent. Ba, ba, ba. Yes, text-based games. I mean, I've done that. Absolutely. I was gonna say uh, here. I'll, I'll pull up my uh, my computer stats here. You can see right there um, that this is this is my uh, computer. I'm I'm running a uh, uh, RTX 4070 Ti to uh, to to play a PSP emulation of a 20-year-old uh, game. Yes. It's, it's great. Ahem. Oof. Oof. I'm failing. Okay. Leather shield. We can use that. Leather shield. The red rust actually does less damage and is a two-handed weapon. It's like... Excuse me. Can't even use a shield with that thing. Shields. I'm trying to remember what else we got. This is gonna take me a while to remember everything about this game. Whoop. Ow. His sword didn't do anything. I guess it was just range issue. Skill issue. Yes. Oh, crap. I am failing. No thanks. <laughs> got it. Cool. Ba, 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 ba. All the voices. Um, everything's been revoiced, translated properly, so uh, all the memes are gone. This world in uh, no man. Uh, let's say uh, you're nothing but a blight on mankind. Mankind, a cesspit of hatred and lies. Fight for them, then, and die for their sins. Yep. Got it. <laughs> All the memes are gone. Ness. Life up. Okay. I think that's it. I don't think there are any other spots here, so we're gonna keep going. Mm-hmm. Does localization matter? Localization is scary because uh, without proper context, without information, uh, you very often don't get, don't understand the double entendres that, you know, exist uh, within media. Um, like, they, uh, Japanese media fucking loves puns. Tons and tons of puns. But unless you understand the context for those puns, they, they like, it just seems weird. Like, people say things for seemingly no reason. Or, or get personality quirks that don't make sense. And um, what it comes down to is uh, 
you you either need to simplify the material so that an audience who uh, who, who doesn't understand the um, the cultural nuances isn't exposed to them, or you need to edumacate them. And edumacation, uh, learn me a book. I mean, that's um that's difficult because uh, what ends up happening is you'll get like in in subtitled shit you get um uh, you'll get a um like a line of text and then you'll get like a paragraph at the top of the screen trying to provide context for the thing the person just said and it's insulting to people who know about it a waste of screen space for people who know about it and to people who don't they have to like freeze frame the thing they're watching to learn about it mm. you said onichi and brother well i mean only if um they made like a demon pun, you know, like o Oni uh, being a, like a devil and then uh, Oni Chen. So like if, so if someone made a pun about that and you were like, what the fuck? Um, then you would need to know the context for that. See what I mean? Be Otherwise, it wouldn't uh, make any sense. So no, localization generally sucks. But it's it sucks for a reason, and that reason is not easily fixed. Anyone who claims it's easily fixed is uh, probably being a, a smidgen disingenuous, or um, at the very least, uh, short-sighted. Narrow vision. Mm -hmm. Yes. At the end of the day, localization, good localization, I should say, is born from... Oh, a cloth cape. Let's equip that. Um, good localization is born from trying to understand the spirit of the material and um, adapt it the best they can, accepting the fact that some of the nuance is going to get lost in the process. But uh, then you get bad localization where people just want to you know, make it palatable for Western audiences at any cost. And that's, uh, you know, that's a, a, a different issue altogether. Then, then, of course, they're the grifters, the people who just want to inject their own little uh, created, their own little piece of quote unquote creativity into the media. At which point the media ceases to be its original thing and it becomes whatever the, um, whatever bastardization the, um, localizers want it to be. And that's what we deal with quite a bit in the, uh, all on the internet these days are, uh, are the complete and total assholes who try to usurp the original material to make it their own thing. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. There are some shows like, say, Ghost, is it Ghost Story, something like that, which were so bad that the that there are Japanese people who are importing the English dub because the English dub is amazing and the Japanese, the original Japanese version is terrible, right? So Japanese people are actually importing the English dub because of how it changes everything. It's, uh, it's hilarious. There is such a thing as uh, transforming the media, especially if the media was bad to begin with. That's, um... Yes. Uh, Ghost Stories is a parody at that point. Correct. But Ghost Stories didn't make any money. Ghost Stories was a financial failure. It was... It was everyone hated it. Uh, go... You, you know, if you ever seen those terrible uh, Japanese cartoon abridged series where people like to, like, parody... They make uh, fake voice acting, um, stuff like that. Um, like they, they, they'll, they'll make the characters say things they would have never said in the original. Well, uh, imagine one of those like fan dubs, except done by the official company, because the, um, the voice actors were told just, just do whatever, man, just, just do whatever, because uh, the series was a financial failure and they were just looking to. Uh, put something out with it and anything was better than the original story I'm gonna go ahead and save over the top one good 
We got a safe state ready to go. We're going to be fighting a boss when we get into the next room. Technically, it's two normal enemies, but they count as a boss. Uh, let's see. Anyway. Uh, bu -bu 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 um, yeah, that, that's, that's about it. So. All right, let's go. No, no. Uh, Ghost Stories is just a terrible Japanese cartoon that uh, found life again in uh, intentionally bad localization. Okay. Hello there. Damn. Fuck. Damn, 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 damn. Go, go, go! Oh, I don't know why that happened, but whatever. Oh shit, that guy got angry. Angry, I say. Whoa, 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 whoa. How do I... Oh, I, have to, I had to duck under that. My bad. Yep. Got him. Hell yeah. Uh, come on. Excellent. We got it. Oh, yeah. I was the first boss of the game. So before we do anything else, we just save over real quick. There we go. Excellent. I'm happy we managed to do that. Now let's see about getting soul steel. I need to I need to put in the right combination uh, like uh right combination for soul steel. Let me see if we got this. Okay, soul steel should be. Uh let me do this. So it's yeah, it should be one two one two one two. Oh, this is, this soul steel is not gonna work for me. I think. I got. I looked at the uh, the actual combination of buttons I had to press. I'm just like, I hate this already. Yeah. Now I'm not gonna be able to do it. Like this way, this way. Bam, and then yeah. So I literally have to do a bunch of that. Ah, oh, fuck it. Dracula teleported again. <laughs> I killed it! Glorious. Once you get it down, it becomes natural. Not, not going to be doing it this run. I can go die. Yeah, Dracula attack. I'll, um... Dark Metamorphosis is something I can pull off. Take me down. I don't know. Uh, is this just the back, or is there like an extra item down here? Reward me for having put up with this shit. Um. Oh yeah, Cirrus. Cool. Ah, sunglasses. Very good. So, uh, sunglasses. I had Cirrus. Cool. What else? Hmm. Helmet. There we go. Sun. Cool-looking sunglasses. Can't wait to get ice cream cones and things like that. Fine. We're going up. Yeah. The only thing that changes your outfit is the cloak. The the cloak will change how how your character looks. That's one cool thing about Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Um, lowers your int. Yeah. You can't see things as clearly, and there's no perception stat, I assume. Is there? No. So that counts as your ability to perceive your surroundings. There we go, then. Let's go. Save point. Okay. If nothing else, it just means that we can uh, get a uh, life up. I, I like how I lost like one hit point, so it doesn't matter, but still. Money. Hearts. Cool. All right. 
Cloth tunic. Cloth tunic is a downgrade. Doesn't change your stats at all. It's just worse than what I had. What a shame. Oh, hello. I ducked under his attack, which honestly, due to the height, should have hit me anyway, but who cares? Yep. Did I just get... No, I'd rather have the axe. Thank you. I like how hearts and mana are separate in this game. That's one thing that um, later Metroidvanias would do is combine the hearts and mana. And I didn't care for that much. I like sub-weapons being their own resource separate from the magic. But... Can I do? Yes, I can do that. When in doubt, backslide a bunch. Ow. Give me the coin. It's one dollar, twenty-five dollar a. Oh no. Threw down salt. Fuck. Yeah, this is this is unfortunate. Oh no. Oh no. That was scary. Potion. Can't go up that way any further. Hello there. What? Poison? How much? I mean, garlic would, would only hurt vampires. Salt is uh, a general dispelling agent. Whoop. Basically, uh, a thing that pur is well known to purge evil. Yep. Poison sucks, yes. Yes, it does. No, thank you. Fuck. I didn't mean to, I meant to jump and I didn't jump in time. I was animation locked. See, when I do this slash, I can't jump during that time. Like, I am committed to finishing the slash animation. I can't, animation cancel. Fuck. Didn't mean to throw those axes. Oh, well. Yep. Still getting used to stuff. Most of these enemies don't bleed, I've noticed. It's kind of unfortunate. Oh, well. They really want me to get rid of the axe. Okay. Uh, I'm using the, the PSPs. The, the, the PSSS piece, piece, uh, yes. PPSSPP. You know, PlayStation Portable. Okay. Shit. Ow, it hurts. Hmm. Up, up, and away. Ah, oh, yes, the clock. Can't remember which way. Oh, shit. Up, uh, the PSP port fixes several bugs the base game had. It also uh, removes all the meme, terrible dialogue and replaces it with uh, mediocre dialogue. All right. God damn it. <laughs> let's, uh, let's see about Dark Metamorphosis. Cool. Bum, right. Wait, are you human? What are you doing here? I've come to destroy this castle. Likewise, I'm Maria, and you are? Alucard. Well, if you're a better swordsman than a speaker, perhaps I'll see you again. Farewell. Goodbye, Maria. But I have to follow her because it's the only way forward right now. Yeah. 
Uh, hold on. Dark metamorphosis, damn it! Dark metamorphosis. Good. Excellent. Dark metamorphosis heals self when blood splashes on you. Yep. Good. What else we got? Nope. Give me the axe back. Good. Little flower table attacked me for God knows why. Whoop. Dracula's master plan is to make, uh, like, cups and plates and shit, uh, kill his enemies. I don't know. Whoop. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Playing and play cyberpunk? Yeah, yeah, sometime next year. I, I am dedicated to not being relevant ever. And will be at the very least a week late to everything. Mostly it's just other games I want to play. That take priority. Okay. Got it. I don't know what's where. Ow, ow. Trying to see what's down there. Instead, I'm getting my ass kicked by a table and a flower pot. Nothing. Nothing is down there. Very good. Going back up. I don't trust any of this. Uh, why do you throw bones forward? I'm used to them throwing bones, uh... Whoop. Oh, you want to see plagiarism? Go check out, um... Uh, <laughs> aside from Fallout 4, um... Uh, go check out Hideo Kojima Snatcher. That, uh, it, it manages to plagiarize Blade Runner. Um... Terminator and Dune all at once. I have absolutely zero information I can provide on uh, Wayward Realms. And I signed a non-disclosure agreement, so even if I did uh, have information, I could tell you I, I can't. Sorry. Magically sealed. Can't go that way. What a shame. Fuck. Uh, yeah, I like Shadowrun a lot. But no, I'll, I'll be playing Cyberpunk sometime next year. It looks like a cool game, and I own it, technically. I just don't have the DLC, and I probably won't be picking that up right away. The only... Oh, oh shit. I completely forgot about this uh, lady who shows her ass. It's such a weird animation she's got. Yeah. No idea why. Okay. Come on. I will give the monster designs uh, some credit, though. It's pretty cool. The general aesthetic of this game is my favorite in the series. This isn't a PlayStation game. This is a P uh, PlayStation Portable game. Listen to Alucard. See? I think uh, Weird Realms is going to use Unity. Oh, sorry. Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine. This is not the Saturn port, no. Uh, Unreal Engine. All right, G give me a sec. I'm gonna I'm gonna put up uh, I'm gonna put up some relevant uh, pictures while I uh, uh, it, hold on. So first, first we put this in the middle. 
<laughs> then we uh, do this. Let me see. I know it's around here somewhere. Uh, but looking for it right now. Hold on. Okay. Um, geez, there's so much nonsense around here. Let me, uh, okay. So that was um, Chase. So much everywhere. Okay, that was date modified. There we go. I got, I got him. Okay, cool. So we we got uh, we got Richter, and uh, then we got Maria, and we'll uh, we'll flip Maria around real quick. There we go. And uh, yeah, that's perfect. This is this is a absolutely perfect. All right. <clears throat> what was I saying? Ah, uh, yes. Um. Uh, Maria, it, well, Maria is a playable character in all the ports, but uh, Maria in the Saturn port is busted, <laughs> just busted. She's uh, uh, her uh, beast god powers just destroy the entire game. Uh, all right, uh, but um. It said PlayStation One doesn't have playable Maria. Okay, I, I, I'm surprised. Uh, it was called. I'm gonna be doing another version of Symphony of the Night soon. It's gonna be called like Rondo of the Night. Uh, let me let me pull it up real quick. So uh, let me let me pull up uh, Rondo of the Night. Okay, it should be. Got it. So this is this is what I'm looking uh, forward to doing later. Not now, but at some point. Um, give me a sec to uh, hide those. Okay. Um, do, 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 what's called Rondo of the Night. Uh, we're gonna be playing uh, later. You basically it it adds Richter as a uh, it makes Richter the playable character, but then it it integrates Alucard's RPG systems into uh, it, yeah Beyblade. Beyblade is real. Look at that shit right there. Yep. So, uh, po point is though, like, uh, yeah. So, so you can exactly, but uh, it it integrates um, uh, Alucard's RPG systems into Richter, so that you can have a full uh, RPG there. Looking forward to that one. That's gonna be a little while though. That's uh. Like, I, I, I'm gonna circle back around. Let's uh, pull up a, a quick video of it. Uh, hold on. Yeah. So, yeah. Hold on. But, like, there, there's different whips and things that you can pick up, so, uh. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, like flips and shit like that. It's uh, pretty good, pretty good stuff. Anyway, uh, let's go. Point is, like, I'll be circling back around to that one eventually. Not now, but later. Where it just, it is, uh, instead of being, uh, like, a little side mode, it makes uh, Richter, like, a, a fully, fully playable character. That uh, has balancing built around him. Whoops. I am failing at this. Oh, I completely forget they do that. Whoop. Fuck. He's gonna do the axe toss, isn't he? Whoop. Not that one. Yeah, that's the one I was scared of. What a shame, what a shame, what a shame. Theme remaster. Yeah, I'm wondering because I put this. It's kind of inconsistent how modding um, reaches each um, platform, unfortunately. Um, some games get like an explosion of modding once they uh, hit the. Um, they get a PlayStation version. Other games, like the the Steam version, is never adapted properly. I'm gonna make a uh, quick save right here. Here we go. Can't wait to die. 
Mirror match. There we go. Ow. Hey, hey, stop it. Why do you have a better sword than I do? Damn. Damn it. Yes. <laughs> I do like the axe a lot. Stop it! You don't have bat powers right now. We get that later. We get the bat powers later. Good. Give me the power. I do like how you get max life ups instead of whatever the hell the um, the game throws at you as far as um, whoops, um, like th those weird orbs that uh, the base uh, Rondo has. Mm, upgrade. That's fine. Gladius is good. Never really use shields unless the shield rod is present. And then I use shields all the freaking time. Uh, mm -hmm. Damn. We're heading to the shop. Ow. Hold on, can I, can, I, can I actually block that? I wanna see if I can block it. The answer is no, your shield goes flying away. Hope you weren't counting on that shield, holy crap. Projectiles only, sir. You can only block projectiles, not enemy attacks. Okay. Moving on. Yep. Whoops. Uh, Doc Metamorphosis. Yes. But with me actually getting life, please? None of the blood splashed on me, not even a bit. It was very sad. Damn it. And of course, the moment Dark Metamorphosis wears off, that's when the blood splashes me. Like that. Should have been that easy. Instead, it's that hard. What do we get here? Ah, oh, chess piece. Good stuff. Yep. Upgrade defense. Awesome. Wait, hold on. I, I saw the, uh, uh, it's, it's the, uh, high boost jump up there to grab, get an item from the, uh, what's his name, the merchant. I vaguely remember that mechanic being a very silly Easter egg. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oop. The real issue is uh, Final Fantasy X. Um, well, Final Fantasy X had a quote-unquote remaster, uh, but it wasn't really a remaster. It was a PlayStation uh, portable port, which didn't have any of the facial data of the original. And so as a result, all of the uh, Final Fantasy X remasters are based on the PlayStation port and don't have facial data either, not not good facial data. It's like some cobbled together piece of crap. A modded version of, of the original uh, Final Fantasy X is the best version of Final Fantasy X. The PC port is, a sa is sacrilege. Sacrilege, I say. I got cursed. 
past. Ah. We're good. I like how they, they drop uncursed in this area. Pretty funny. Damn, that thing went fast. Damn. Well, that's it for me. What a shame. One thing I can do is backdash. Oh no, plants. Plants! What is this? The books. The books are gonna murder me. Skulls, I thought they, they shot blades or something. That is cool to see all the logos spill out of them. When you kill the books. Nice mechanic. Hey, here's a question. In Ari of Sorry, you can't do the diagonal uh, slash down, can you? Mm -hmm. Yes, but this version doesn't have any remasters. You're thinking of the PlayStation version. Uh, sorry, randomizers. As far as I know, the PSP version doesn't have any randomizers built for it. Yep. The next time I play the PlayStation version will be, um, uh, what do you call it, um, Rondo of the Night, the, uh, which adds the full Alucard RPG experience to Richter. Fairy Scroll, that lets you see the enemies, yes, yep, enemy names, cool. Basic mechanics that you'd think a video game should have are drops. The cool thing about that is if you don't like a particular mechanic, you go over to Relics and you can just turn it off. That's the that's really neat, actually. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I definitely spent uh, quite a bit of time uh, emulating old uh, PlayStation 1 games. Not because I um, didn't have a PlayStation 1, but I usually kept it uh, locked away in storage. Once my computer became capable of playing the uh, PlayStation 1 games, I still had a CD drive, so I would literally just put the CD in. I uh, It wasn't due to being cheap or anything like that. It was just literally, why bother? It's been a long time. I need your help. Oh, but young master, I could never betray the good count. You won't go unrewarded. Really? In that case, just tell me what you need. <laughs> hey, whoa! You you mean money? This. Jewel of Open. Need this. Thank you. Very good. I uh, don't think I need anything else. I'll take a library card so I can work back here. But all the good stuff that I would want, I can't get right now. The Damascus sword looks like that's uh, pretty much up my alley, but th no chance of that right now. I'll take the castle map. Thank you. Mm-hmm. How about this? Popo Doppel Popolis? Save it for Queen Doppel Popolis. Okay. What's this? But I already killed him. That looks like the most boring shit ever. Oh, 
Oh god, the flickering! The flickering! Why? Why do you do this game? Stop it! Oh no. Get the hell out. If I load a state, apparently it just dies forever. Great. Th thank you, video game. Oh. I just need to go to the menu. Okay. Going to the menu fixes it. Oh, well. I did not spend that 700, by the way. I, that, that would have been an awful purchase. Pay to make your game more boring. That's pay to lose, everybody. Pay to lose. Onwards. Whoop. Level loop. Damn right. No. I was trying to get some quick uh, damage in, but that ain't happening right now. Okay. Uh, more books. Level loop, battle card. Level loop. God. We're traveling. Yeah, this feels pretty good. I hate this part, though. These little ghosts. And then it starts accelerating. Oh, we killed one. That's the poison one, right? Yeah, oh, no, that's curse as well. What? Yeah, I don't care about that. We're out. Mm. Oh, crap. He was about to strike me with lightning. I was like, mm, let's go the other way. Wait, what happened? I accidentally went to a different desktop. It's like, why did that happen? Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, thunder does hurt. Let's go. <laughs> Away. Wow, he threw the barrel wrong. Spearman! Okay. Cool. Oops, wrong way. So there's a guy with a bow and arrow, and there's guys with guns. Yeah, think about that. Skeletons with guns. That looks awesome. Why are they only used in this, like, one section? Look at these guys. That would be fucking brutal on a horizontal plane. Okay. This way, maybe. Oh, cool. Travel. Did take me to the entrance of the castle, I think. Yeah. Go best uh, theme. Yes. And hearts. Max heart up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. That's the entrance. 
We're leaving. We're going back to where we were. I just wanted to make sure we could, uh, you know, unlock the fast travel point. That's fast travel, by the way. For those who don't know how uh, it works, it's um, uh, where, where was Todd Howard's meme for that? I'm gonna say, Todd, uh, but, but, but there, there it is. So even though the world is huge, you can select anywhere you know about in the map and instantly fast travel there. This gets you right to the fun. Fast travel. Fast. Mm. Okay, let me uh, let me look here. Ooh. Almost done. Let's go. Doesn't load the song until after you leave the fast travel area. Foggy! Fog layer! Freaking love this. I will say this. Rondo has kind of trained me for these enemies now. The first time I had played, um, what do you call it? Uh, the first time I played this, I hadn't played Rondo. So having gone back and played Rondo again, because you know, like, like I, I played Rondo over the years, you know, but having played like Rondo and then this back to back now, um, a lot of the enemies make a lot more sense and feel a lot more intuitive. An elevator activated. Uh, would you say Bloodstained is the real sequel to this? The real sequel to this is uh, Castlevania Aria of Sorrow. And then Bloodstained is Symphony of the Night 2 Electric Boogaloo. It's a spiritual successor that basically copies this game's format. You know, when, when you find out that, that J-Bell is just under the control of... Uh, what's her name? Um... Uh, moon Lady, and you, you you get Zangetsu's sword and you slice the moon to, like, break the control that uh, she has over uh, uh, over Gabel so that you can access the inverted world. Like, uh, yeah. Uh, I was gonna say. Um... <clears throat> okay. Well, I, it's, yeah, I, it's not a sequel, it's a spiritual successor. That's the, uh, bit, bit of a difference. God damn it, I know I can make that, I just need to jump properly. Fuck. You, you were prom, uh, you were promised nothing. You were promised nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Oh, and it was uh, this one. That one, there we go. Okay. Damn it. Gonna drive me nuts. I know the heart container's there. Oh wait, I can do a small jump. Fuck. Hmm. Or I just fall down because I'm smart. Might have to come back later at this point. It's gonna murder me. Yeah. Feels like I'm hitting the ceiling. There's there's a high jump and a low jump, and there, there doesn't feel like there's anything really in between. Hmm. Damn it. No. That was a low jump. Low jump doesn't make it. High jump hits the ceiling. Hmm. Oh well, I'll have to come back later because I am just not good enough. Let's go let's go back real quick and make sure. Yeah, okay. Unless you pick it up, it doesn't go away. So I didn't waste my uh, opportunity. That that was my concern. Do I need to reload before I do it? No. The answer is no, you do not. What is this place? Oh, clock tower. Cool. 
Let's, before we go into the clock tower any further, let's make a savey safe. And let's go. I remember there being giant skulls. That's kind of all I remember, but hey. Oh, and uh, the ground falling. Yes. Come on. Don't have the capacity. There's the giant skull. Whoops. Damn, he moves far enough away to avoid the axe arc. Let's see if there's anything else we can do around here. I think the answer is no. But I want to check anyway. No, there's nothing here for us. What a shame. It's another big skull. Don't care. Really don't care. Hmm. It was, uh... There we go. Hmm. Okay, one more attempt. Because I'm stupid. Nope, won't do it. Won't work. Mm-hmm. Let's... I can't backdash into the wall there, unfortunately. Oops. But I can backdash onto previous screens. How's that work? I don't know. Bible! Give me my axe back. Bible doesn't do enough damage. This is fine. Get our uh, health back. We're up to 100 max health. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna go down to the basement. I think the basement's where I need to go. Could be wrong in that point, but who cares? It's a exploration question mark. Something like that. Whoop. Oh, hello. Call the wolf. It's wolf time. What was the, what was the wolf button? A Hadouken? Uh, was it... I think it was a Hadouken. Mm, let's go find out. Spirit of the Woof. Transform into a Woof. El Eleanor's ain't doing anything, so I think it's something else. Um... Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, Eleanor ain't. Uh, it's got. It must be a, a problem with the key bindings. Let's just find out. Let's find out. Game settings. Controls. Uh, controller mapping. On screen touch controls. D pad analog. Hmm gonna say it should be uh, b -b 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 -um. yeah control mapping there we go what do we got here for like L and R analog down yeah L and R hmm that's supposed to be it so like this would be L and this would be R okay so they are different buttons Fair enough. Fair enough. So, eh, who cares? Let's give it a try now. Cool. We got we got woof time. Woof can, uh, if I remember correctly, we go up here. We can do like a, a dashing jump to get that yeah. item I couldn't get earlier. That'd be nice. Let's give that a try. Wait, it'd be right here, right? Yeah, right there. So we do that, and then we do a dash, and there we go. Bam! Easy peasy. Awesome. Love it. I'm on board with this. Got my uh, heart up. Let's go. All the way down. Let's 
Let's go. So, we're gonna drop into the bottom area. Over here. Oh, shoot, hold on. I'm gonna, I, I don't think I can make a jump there. I don't think that's gonna work. What a shame. Hmm. I'm gonna go all the way. Should be a little drop at the very bottom. Let's see what's over there. This is gonna get a little painful, I imagine. There it is. We're at the bottom, bottom. So this, this is as low as this section of the castle goes. We go over here. And now we can see someone. Someone. Rowing. Oh, that's scary. Not nearly as scary as the uh, one in um, Bloodstained Curse, uh, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. I mean, that was uh, that was frightening. It's a jump scare in boss battle. I don't think there's a hidden boss battle attached to this. Whoop. No. Mist could pass. If only I was missed. I'm not missed. Fucking hell! Can't go that way, it seems. Mm hmm. Yeah, this is the way. Fuck! I wasn't expecting that. Stop it. Yeah, about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye. Come on, stop your barrier. Damn it. Holy fuck, I'm gonna die to this random night, man. Got um, hell yeah, level up. So I'm talking about. Excellent. Okay, the booth interactions. Yes, the uh, the interactions with the yeah confession booth. You're right. Oof. This way. Chicken. Okay, pot roast is a good thing, but that room meant nothing then other than hey this knight is gonna beat the crap out of you and uh, you can heal yourself from the punishment the knight gave you i guess all right so this is back the way we came but i don't need to go there yet i just got the wolf so i need to go back to the library because we can do a uh, running jump with the doge and get access to a different section of the library up near the merchant don't remember how to do that, but we'll find out soon. Ah, ah. Hello there. Good. Works. That is where we had the uh, doppelganger fight. There are no refights to my knowledge, so, you know, is what it is. Uh, I'm sad now. I was trying to get whatever was in there, but then I realized there's nothing in there. A whole lot of nothing. Nice I'm getting a lot of hearts and all, but I don't think it's worth it. $50 might be, though. I'll probably be able to afford a better weapon when we uh, get back to the, uh, the merchant there. If I'm not dead, of course, you know. That is the uh, main concern. Oh, I was gonna use the elevator, but I think we'll uh, go the old fashioned way after I, uh, of course, uh, do another quick save there. 
All right, save done. Bam. Very good. Let's have a look in here. It's a load line. Ah, uh, yep, this is the room. This is the way we need to go. No, thank you. Cool. Someday, I will be able to do enough damage that this won't matter as much, but uh, not quite yet. At 74 hearts. Definitely uh, banking those. Pretty nice. The accumulation of hearts makes it feel relevant to, uh, whoops. Uh-huh. Gonna say, uh, uh, no, no, thank you. I'm trying to, yeah, I was gonna say the accumulation of hearts makes it feel, um, I, I, it makes all the little grinding you do from point A to point B to point C feel relevant, I would say. As opposed to, oh no, there's another monster. Let's try to damage boost past it, you know? Also the fact we're getting EXP toward our next level, which is nice. But, um, ow, ow, ow. No! Who do Starfield? That's just Starbound. You know, the guy who uh, tricked a bunch of artists and programmers into making shit for his game that he uh, then didn't pay them for. Allegedly. Allegedly. Okay, whoop. I'm gonna die. Yeah, I can use the wolf jump to get up there. It's not that big a deal. Just need to be careful. We're good. I really like Starbound, though, especially with mods. Fracking Universe is just the best. Starbound, yep. Hello, sir. How you doing, old man? Your master Alucard. How about this? How about this? Mm. Reverse cloak. Dual colored reversible cape. In other words, a whole lot of nothing. I want the Damascus sword, and I have half of the required amount. I could get a mace, which is a significant upgrade. You know what? The Damascus sword isn't even worth it right now. Let's just grab the saber and go. The saber is basically the same as the mace, as far as I can tell, because I'm, you know, stupid. So, let's do it. Fuck it. Alright. Goodbye, Gladius. Hello, saber. Yeah, that's cool. Now we have 11 health, so we're probably going to die a horrible death. This is fine and normal. Wish there were enemies that would bleed. I don't see any such though. Dark metamorphosis. Dark metamorphosis. The books do not bleed. Mm -hmm. You say saber, but you uh, neglect to say which. Okay. Let's go this way. They're all the same. All the sabers are exactly the same. The meme of uh, saber face. Yes. That was it. Um, it was uh, Arturia, Nero, and... Um, sorry, Arturia, Nero... Um, what, what's the, the other one? Um... um Hold on. Yeah, Ar Ar Arturia, Nero, um, I'm trying to remember, uh, Mordred, and, um, the, uh, last one was, like, the Gravekeeper. 
Yes. Uh, the, the Gravekeeper from, um... From the case files of Lord Elmoloy II. She, she is also a saber base. Damn it. Gotta do this right. I gotta somehow, like, jump up. Forgot exactly how it works. Gray, yeah. Case Files of Emoloy is um, perhaps one of my favorites. It's funny how fans of the franchise think it's super boring. It's like, what makes it interesting is it's a detective show. It's not a, uh, it's not a battle action show. What battle action has is in service of, uh, it, you know, the the detective shit. Supposed to inform you about the uh, magical world that is very much not Harry Potter. I'm planning on doing. Um, I'm planning on doing extra semi soon because extra goes into CCC and CCC all is like a little less than a year from getting a full English translation. So. Um, from there, I want to run Extella again. I might do Extella again first. I don't know yet. Um. Whoa! Where are the rest? There they are. Ba -ba. Yeah. CCC, for those who don't know, it's Fate Extra, but then there's a Groundhog Day that kind of happens during the, toward the end of the the normal Fate Extra playthrough, like toward the toward the end of the timeline, but not the very end. There is like a Groundhog Day that happens over and over and over and over, and um, it's very very crazy. And then it ends and has no impact on the rest of the story whatsoever. It is, uh, it, it is the definition of wasted time, and yet it's, uh, really fun. Okay, yeah, I, I don't, just, I, I completely forgot how to make that jump. I, I know there was a way to do it with the doge, to make a, uh, like, a, a super jump here. Was, uh... Let me see. What was the button to make it go faster? I'm certain there's a way to make the doge go faster. Uh -huh. She isn't even really a nun. She's like from a sect that um, it's really fucked up. Let's put it like that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um, okay, I give up. I give up. I cannot make the doge go fast for whatever reason. I, I don't understand. There, there, there's supposed to be like a, a doge go fast button. And I cannot for the life of me remember how it works. So instead, I'm just going to run or, or die. That works too. I, I, it's, I, I, I'm that guy who goes, I guess I'll die. Dark metamorphosis. What? Double click D pad. I thought I did. Yeah, th this. Okay, this is normal speed. Double click D pad is this fast. Which doesn't quite. Oh, God. Yeah, I think I'm, I, have, I have seven health right now. I, I can't fuck her out. Dark metamorphosis. Dark metamorphosis. No, stop it. Good. Good. Anything else I can do here? I don't think so. Good. Dog metamorphosis. Yes. That's better. 
Okay, now I'm not terrified. Dark metamorphosis. Dark metamorphosis. Heal me, Fleeman. Wait, what? <laughs> Dark metamorphosis. Fuck. That's better. I'm at a hundred health, finally. We can go back and we can try this one more time, but I'm infuriated that, uh, like, I, I knew there was a way to make, like, a a wolf jump on that thing, and for whatever reason, I'm just not able to execute it. I'm, I'm too old, can't do basic game maneuvers. But no, uh... That plant! Okay. I do like uh, what they did with Sir Francis Drake, though, if you're talking about the, uh, the Mimi uh, fate stuff. Okay. Uh, uh. But yeah, it's supposed to run like this, but then it, it doesn't run fat. You're, you're kidding me. He respawns when he gets off screen, doesn't he? Yeah, that, that's not fast enough. I'm certain that there's a run that's faster than that. Hmm. Because that is not... That is not speed. That is bullshit. Hmm. Oh, a thousand. Okay. The game's like, hey, have some money. You know that money you spent on that slightly better sword? Have this instead. Okay, so yeah, that, that that just isn't good enough. So that's not gonna make the jump. So I don't know. I have no comprehension of how to do it. So instead, I'm gonna take my money and go home. Yep. I'm leaving. I'll go do other things. I was hoping to be able to, you know, do a doge jump with that. So I, I thought there was some kind of speedy maneuver you could do with the, the wolf. Oh well, better sword is still uh, still good we came here. Just grumble grumble is my answer. Okay, up we go. I don't remember which way is which at this point. Let's have a look at the map. Oh, God. Yeah, I can see the couple sections I haven't been to yet. Let's try using the wolf along the clock tower area. Maybe we can make bigger jumps there. I'm just guessing at this point. Worst case scenario, we have a save point, and save points are nice, but still. We'll see. Wait, that's fast travel point. My bad. Is there anything back at the beginning of the dungeon that Wolf unlocks? And the answer is probably no. So we'll see. Whoa, hello. No thanks. That ain't too bad. Okay, I died, I mean. Yep. Cut the rope? Wait, what? Oh, it's a skeleton. Uh, yeah, I can't do that. I can't cut the rope. What a shame. Mm -hmm. Let's go. That's the elevator mechanism that we turned on. Okay. Have a look at the map again. So, yeah, this would take us... Up here is a save point. And then to the other side is the, um... Uh, one step down, I mean, is the clock tower. And let's see if we can... 
actually speed our way through the clock tower as a, a woof, although the woof jump doesn't seem to be working or doing anything uh, significant. That makes me question everything. Uh, oh, shit. I think I understand. Hold on. Hold on. Um, I'll try something. Mm, that is an it. How many total hours was you there? There is no tracking function for uh, the old DOS game. I couldn't even begin to guess. All right. Um. Yes. Bark. Bark attack. But no, it's um. I think I, I like I assume that the wolf ability is tied to some sort of relic that would make the most sense based on this because uh like I see an ability to do a charge with the wolf, but it seems to be tied to some other upgrade um let's see because um yeah, I'm looking at this. Um, yeah. It's talking about the wolf, but... I don't know. Is it Power of the Wolf? Yeah. So, Soul of the Wolf versus Power... Yeah, it's Power of the Wolf. That's, that's what I was looking for. Um... Yeah. Yeah, I thought I had picked that up, but it turns out I'd just gotten the Soul of the Wolf isn't great, but, you know, that's what happens when I forget huge chunks of the game. Let's go. Why has Alucard changed back? Okay. Let's try this. Fuck. No go! No go! Spooky! <laughs> yeah. That is pretty spooky. I'm impressed. I love a little spook in that. Okay, so we can. And then we get our ass kicked and get knocked down. And no! Yeah, that skeleton. Frightening. Absolutely frightening. Okay, so we can make the jump. For what that's worth. And this skeleton here beats the crap out of me. Yep. Ow. Fuck. I hate that little skeleton so much. Get up here. That pentagram's cool, but... Oh no, there was an armor. There was an armor I could have had. I don't understand any of this. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to leave this section and then come back. And in theory, I can abuse the uh, thingamabobber to do a like super long jump. Here we go. No, it hasn't reset. Damn it. Damn it, I saw the armor. I saw the armor again, but the, the knockback, I just kind of flew right past it. That's nuts. I swear. This is more platformy than Rando, uh, Rando, Rondo was, yes. Why'd you play without Dream? Uh, oh, in, in Daggerfall? It's because Dream, uh, requires, um, not it requires. There are other content mods that add more content, but none of that new content uses higher, uh, uses like the watercolor sprites, the hand-painted watercolor sprites that, uh, Dream does. So... It, that all of the added content mods use uh, create new monsters and new people and stuff that are all uh, conducive to the original style of Daggerfall. So if I have the opportunity to add, either add more content to the game or to watercolor the sprites like you know Dream does, I'm going to go with more content every time. I don't give a shit about it looking slightly more purdy. The, the crunchy old sprite look is A-OK -okay with me. Fuck! I'm stuck in an endless... 
abyss of pain and suffering. The answer is I have to kill that thing. I can't jump over him. I'm just annoyed that that is a fact. Oh, here we go. You can have both, and then they look mismatched and ugly. That's it. Yeah. Magic missile. It's not even armor. It's, it's a fucking magic missile. Wow. Why did I just suddenly stop? Why? Yes. See, I don't care necessarily how um, how pretty a game's graphics look. Um, consistency and art style matters a lot more to me. So when you introduce inconsistency in art style, then it's like, oh, I purposefully made the uh, made the game worse. That's great. At least from my perspective. Here we go. Why does he slow down? Why? Oh, jeez. Terrible. So there's no way to do it. It's uh it's a lie. That whole thing is a lie. Very good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, there, there's there's no way. But with that anyway. I need I need the uh the, the power of the woofies. Look at that I it goes further than the fucking wolf does. What what is this nonsense? The normal jump goes further than the wolf. Why? I'm gonna make a save here so that the skeleton isn't gonna bother me. But yeah, like look at that. It goes further. I don't understand why the wolf slows down. Yeah. Okay. F fair enough. Task failed successfully. Yeah. I can't go that way, apparently. It's, uh... Yep. Tasks failed successfully. Let's go. We're just gonna keep going. Fuck it. Goodbye, spooky skeleton. No, there's no way through. It's busted. Be careful. You talk up your graphics mods a little too much, and I might start running the game in retro rendering mode. I'll do it, man. <laughs> All right. It, it, it's funny though because um, like it just shows everyone value ha, has you know completely different values they place on um, uh, you know the um, <laughs> on how games look and such you know people will will straight up buy a remaster because it turns the 2D sprites 3D and um, uh, people will buy. Um, Again, they'll buy something for new lighting effects, and you know, it, it all. It, everyone values something different in the experience, and I don't think it. Um, I don't think we should mock people for view, um, placing different values on different experiences. However, at the same time, um, mm, like I'm, I'm not the person to go see about that. 
at all, even a bit. Like when people ask me about a remaster, I usually ask, what is the virtue of this remaster? And they usually say it looks more pretty or it changes the gameplay. I'm like, okay, well, how, does it change the gameplay for the better? What, what, what else does it change? You know, people, um, like just, just in general, I've, um, I'm not a giant fan of remasters. I played the Rondo uh, remaster only because I had never played it before and it, you know, is old at this point. It came with the PSP version I wanted to use. So, um, yeah, it is super interesting to look at what motivates different people to play games in different ways. But, um, like, compare Mega Man X 1 through 3's pixel art to uh, Mega Man, uh, sorry, uh, Mega Man X 4's. And despite being a functionally better game, Mega Man X 4 loses a lot of the detail in its pixel art in blowing it up to a bigger size. And then um, when you go from Mega Man X 4, 5, and 6 to X 7, to that, like, that sloppy 3D look, it, the game gets a lot worse looking. It just, it, it is awful by comparison. And so, um, it's kind of funny how that, that's just the uh, world we live in where uh, something that may be considered progress isn't actually progress at all. Yeah, I can't go down there either. I'm uh, genuinely confused. I'm gonna, I'm gonna head through the middle of the castle, I think. The best thing about Daggerfall is that Bethesda will probably never do a remake. Yeah, that's true. But at the same time, look at uh, Quake 1 and uh, 2, like the Quake 1 and 2 remasters. It's pretty incredible uh, how well Night Dive and uh, Machine Head uh, uh, have... Uh... By the way, look at the eyeball in the background. Look at that eyeball. Like, uh, the layering with that eyeball that's watching us. Yeah. That's crazy. But, um... I mean, like, Machine Head and... Uh, oops. I'm stoned. What a shame. Um... Uh, damn. He's kicking my ass. Uh, sorry. Um... So. Like, th those two new remasters... Uh... Yes, we, we got stoned by, uh... By the... The big plant. Yep. This lady just, her animation shows her ass right before she dies for no particular reason. I don't hate it. Just something I point out because it's weird. It's in the direction that the character is facing. Okay. Oh. Fireball. Let's actually get some health real quick. So we're gonna go back to this enemy and we're gonna dark metamorphosis. Dark metamorphosis! Good. And now we're healed. Ta da! We uh, drain the blood. But yeah, the pixel art in this, the atmosphere, the, uh, just, just everything about it is great. I mean, functionally speaking, I prefer Aria of Sorrow and I prefer uh, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. But in terms of aesthetics, this game just is uh, like the, the best in, in series as far as I've been able to tell. Yep. Whoop. Mm. This way. Gotta go down. I think I gotta go down. According to the map, anyway. Let's have a map. Give me my access back. Stopwatch you can use to gain access to other sections of the clock room. You can advance time by sacrificing hearts. 
but uh, we don't have the jump boots to be able to do that, I think. Maybe the jump boots are there, come to think of it. This is gonna drive me nuts. You know what, fuck it, I'll take the stopwatch, we'll go to the clock room, we'll see if we can jump up there and do something with it. So I'm gonna go back and around. Oh. Okay, there we go, we got the stopwatch. Good. Excellent. Whoop. Enemies being enemies. That is the clock room. Mm -hmm. Ouija. Um, don't know if I have one of those. Let's find out. Hold on. I'm going to see if uh, we got one. Um, should be around here somewhere. Pull that up. Okay. So, first things first, let's uh, begin the ritual here. Um, what do we got? Okay. Pictures. Uh, I'm looking. Mm, yeah, I'm not seeing one. Like I, I I see a lot of different ones. Um uh, no, I, I'm like I, I mean we, we have an elf from Skyrim, but um you know th these are high quality Skyrim assets we're using there. Uh but let me see uh there's Ralph from um Yeah, there there's Ralph from uh, The Simpsons, of course. You know, no no problem there. Let me uh, see. Still still looking. Hmm. H hold on. Uh, uh, now I'm not not seeing a whole lot. Like uh, here's the hipster born. Um. What what else we got? Um. I I I. I, I Still looking. Hold on. Uh, hmm. Ah, yes, yes. Here we go. Th this one's good. But no, no, I, I don't, I don't see it. Oh, we got it. We got it. Cool. We found it. This, this is what we were looking for, right? Uh, pretty, pretty sure it was this one. Let's uh turn it around that way. There we go. Okay. Let me just close those other ones up. Uh, there we go. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put that in the corner here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there we go. That's uh, that that's Ouija. Okay. That th that'll do. Okay. Can we can put the others away right now? Hold. Oh, there we go. Okay. We got it. Mm -hmm. So what I need to do is I need to create a save here, and then I need to activate the power. Mm -mm. No way, it's not happening. I don't have the jump capacity to do it. Yeah, there. I don't think it, it's not gonna work. What a shame, what a shame. Okay, we're leaving. We got other things to do. We're going down. We're going down into the depths. Give me my huts. No bats, no jumps, no nothing. No traversal methods whatsoever. Okay. Let me close something up in a different window. Should be good to go. Mm -hmm. Ow. Ow was right. We haven't been to this section yet, so it's cool. Oh, no. That ain't working. Guess we're getting hearts. Skeletons do not um do not bleed. 
Therefore, Dark Metamorphosis does nothing. Near the puppets. God. I think less enemies bleed than ones that don't bleed. Okay. This game has randomized loot drops. Uh, for the enemies, yes. Spirit Orb. Shows enemy damage. Okay. Damage numbers, yes. Damage numbers! This is fine. Yep. Basic mechanics squirreled away <laughs> behind relics that you find. What do you mean being able to detect, like, num actual numbers is a uh, spiritual power that Alucard gains by absorbing a relic? That seems kind of shady to me. Okay. How many of Despair is a good game? Uh, there is a Discord server where they straight up use emulators to play Harmony of Despair in multiplayer, like, today. Seriously. Okay. Whoa. No, thank you! <laughs> that was close. But, um, I appreciate how that sticks around afterward. Pretty cool. Goodbye, table. Hmm. I am murdering all the enemies, which is good. But we have to see what else is happening here. Oh, ghosts. Ghost drop money, that's cool. I was thinking, like, how long does it take to get the ghost uh, soul in uh, Aria Sorrow and the ghost uh, item in, uh, or the, the ghost shard in uh, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night? Still killing. The bet the yeah, the, the statues, they look pretty cool. I agree. Mm, yes, daggers instead of stopwatches, thanks. This guy is awful. Got a. Uh... Yep. You'd be surprised. A lot of this, um. A lot of this game consists of, um. Oh, what do you call it? Uh, they, they rendered a 3D model and turned it into a sprite Donkey Kong Country style. Not, not all of them. But uh, a few, uh, a fair few of them have been done that way. Cool, we have access to the beginning of the game again. That's awesome. Dark metamorphosis. That's how we heal up. Now we go down. Ah, wrong way. Yes. Blood sprays. We're gonna drop this way. No, we gotta drop to the left and then jump to the right, I think. Give that a try. Should be doable. So we drop this way. No. Nope. Hmm. Maybe instead of dropping, we jump. Try to get to the edge a little more. Because we're almost there. Yep. Let's try. Got it. Hell yeah. All right, let's make a save here. Since I don't trust any of this. 
And we'll try to make a jump. Nope. And that's why I didn't trust it. Okay. Nope. <laughs> it takes uh, twice as long to be able to do that, so. Uh, nope. I wanted to be able to make that jump. What a shame. Go, Doge, do it! The funny part is the Doge has made jumps like this before. That's the funny part. It's... No. It's fucked, that's what it is. That's not even close, man. Not even close. Okay, let's do this. Aha! Uh -huh. We did it! Hearts! I made something out of this. Something. It's fine, really. It's been a while since I played this, to be honest. I don't know why I did that. Okay, we could fast travel in the lower section. Wait, what's this? I haven't been here. Oh, it's a save point. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough! Got it. Data saved. Terrible. Yeah, I'm definitely psyched to replay this as uh, Richter in uh, the Rondo of the Night mod. Which adds all the, uh, like, items and um, experience point. Uh, sorry, items and uh, relics and stuff to Richter. So Richter isn't just, like, a, a one-off mode, but rather a... Whoop. Has a fully built-in development. Whoop. Kill those guys, yes. Hmm. Going back through here. Wait. Shit, I know where to go. I know exactly where to go. It just occurred to me, I have the gym, gym of unsealing or whatever. Yeah. I got it. I know where to go now. Cool. It'll be to the left. Yep. It'll just uh, up and to the left. Wow. Forgot that these guys are. Uh, that's a critical hit, by the way. <laughs> they just died in one hit. It's like, okay. Fair enough. This way. Kill that thing. Those are poison dispensers. This way. Maybe not. Not yet. Definitely gonna be the left. We just have to reach it. In the meantime, saves are good. Saves are always good. Until they aren't. Mm-hmm. Damn it. It's to the left. It's that, that passage that way. Yes. I'll take that axe. Thanks. All right. It's Maria time. I could have sworn it was Maria time. Alucard, wasn't it? We meet again. So it seems. As friendly as ever, I see. It's strange. This castle's different than I remember it. This castle is a creature of chaos. With each rebirth, it takes a new form. Here I thought my mind was playing tricks. Well, there's nothing for it. Till we meet again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in this version, uh, he says, uh, <clears throat> Mankind, a cesspit of hatred and lies. Fight for them, then. 
and die for their sins. Alright. <clears throat> this version removes all the memes. Retranslations are a terrifying thing. Hmm. Okay. This way. Okay, I vaguely remember this. I seem to remember something rolling downstairs and making me hurt. That that that's what my memory's telling me. That's up. Uh, general unhappiness. Uh, there we go. See see what I mean? Something rolling down the stairs and making me sad. I, I knew it, it it would happen. I just didn't remember exactly what, you know, was the catalyst of my despair. The answer is to destroy them both. Yes. Favorite uh, sound, song soundtrack? Go back to the entrance of Dracula's castle in this game. That's it. Yeah. In, in the entry hall. Out. Don't get me wrong, there are a lot of good soundtracks. I'm just saying it's my favorite. Good. I want to get the loots, but I can't. I see it now. I understand it. I know its name. Yep. Bye. I had a PlayStation for a long time before I had picked this game up. I was a little late to the, uh, Whoa. Gonna say, I was a little late to the uh, Symphony of the Night. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad I played it. No Curse of Darkness is here? What are you talking about? Of course there's gonna be Curse of Darkness. Uh, hold on. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and... Yeah, uh, Halloween's on October thirty first. You're you're a little early. This is this is October seventh. We're only uh, spooky. Uh, spooky month has only gotten started. Shield. Yes, this is this is like the shield I use for like two thirds of the game, something like that. Pretty sure. Pretty sure I just I get the shield rod and I use this and that's like the game. Yeah. What a shame. No, I'm not gonna fight that sword again. Wasted way too many hearts on that thing. Mm -hmm. Favorite game I play every October? Uh, every October, Castlevania Curse of Darkness. That's, that's my game. Hector the Devil Forge Master and his uh, Pokemon friends. Oh, this this place is fucked. Hold on, check check this out. We're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna save before we do this because we don't want to actually do it. But uh, first first watch this one. Okay, we're going to this confession booth here. Check this out. We sit down. Look at this guy. Watch him. Okay. Fair enough. Now, what if we go to the other side and we act as the priest in this? This lady sits down, then stabs you. No matter what you do, the game will punish you. All right. There, there is a, an alternate way to do this, I remember, but I can't, can't be asked to figure it out right now, so. We'll be back at some other point in time. Mm -hmm. 
There's definitely some sort of a secret. I just don't know what it is. Great mechanics, though. For the actual, like, uh... Whoop. Be careful. Those, those boomerang uh, skeletons. There we go. Damn. Up and away. Mm -hmm. It's a great game. Going to the tower. Getting our ass kicked by birds. And everything else. Birds! What do you mean I was killed by birds? That's it. That's the end. I didn't think you've ever finished the second part of the game. By the time I get the Alucard shield and the um, shield rod, the game is over. Like, I, you just become an invulnerable uh, juggernaut of pain. And, and, and unless you want to make the game harder on yourself by not using that technique, um, there's nothing standing in your way for more. Yes. Up, up and away. Life up. Damn right. More health. Strength potion. Silver plates. Let's go. Yep. No. Seen those before? Oh. I was hoping to be able to make a go of that, but whatever. Dark metamorphosis. There we go. A little bit of health. Give me my axe. Excellent. Damn. Uh, no. No salt. Just this way. Fuck. Black crow. Let's see what's up here. A ring. Zircon. Pretty sure you just sell those, but let's uh, equip them anyway. Doesn't change our stats at all, but it's we, we just get bling. That, that, there, there's absolutely no other reason. Uh huh. Go go. Dark metamorphosis. Dark metamorphosis. Good. We uh, make a save real quick. It's bird fighting time. Hippogriff. If I remember correctly, it like shoots lightning or some shit. Hey, look. The thing I kind of remember happened. Whoops. Damn, out of uh, magic. What a shame. Out of uh, hearts, I mean. No! Eggs! Oh, I destroyed them. Good. Gotta be aware of the eggs. Shit! Okay. Nope. Damn it. Definitely hurts. Got him. Oh, hell yeah. We're taking that. You look like you're doing well for yourself. And? You didn't come here to flatter me. True, 
Do you know the name Richter Belmont? Belmont? Of course. Why? He disappeared about a year ago. I'm sure he's here now. If you see him, please let me know. As you wish, my lady. Hmm. A gentleman after all. Thank you. Okay. The journey is to find yeah. Richter Belmont. Technically, it's to kill Dracula, but, um, yeah, no. Like, our immediate goal is to find Richter Belmont and totally not have him be the evil lord of this castle. Dark metamorphosis! Yep. Yeah, he remembers, uh, that they're, uh, Trevor Belmont from the, uh, NES game. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna make another save since we advanced the uh, plot a little bit. Not just running around in circles. I mean, we can go back to running around in circles, and that's fine by me. I'm just uh, very happy that we advanced the plot at all. As opposed to, you know, where uh, we were just kind of spinning around for a while. All right. I got to take a short break. We we've been at this for a couple hours now. I take a short break, about five minutes, and then we'll be heading on up. If we look at the um, at the map here, we're going to be heading up to the clock tower and uh, dealing with stuff up there probably. But, um, yeah, see you all in about five minutes.
Okay. There we so go. Even though the world is huge, you can select anywhere you know about in the map and instantly fast travel there. This gets you right to the fun. Fast travel. Fast. Yes. Yes, indeed. All right. Let's uh, get going. Up, up, and away. Go the other side. Ow. Bird! Do not trust the bird. Never trust the bird. Is that. Cutlass. Hmm. That is a downgrade from the saber we purchased. Go figure. That is a pity weapon for someone who didn't buy something at the merchant. Makes sense. He almost got me with his axe, but then he died. What a shame. That's a lot of candle. Take the axe back, thanks. Decent amount of hearts. The money. More hearts. That isn't too bad with a good sword. Fuck, or you know me. Screwing up. Elevator? Yes! We go this way first, though. I think there's a fast travel point here. Pretty sure there's a fast travel point. Yep. Bam. Let's have a look. That puts us in the bottom of the castle. Back up. Puts us up at the front clock tower entrance. That puts us back up here. Yeah, we're good. Fast travel point. We're set. Must go up. Ready to go get the bad ending? I don't think we can actually go up there yet. I'm pretty sure you need uh, some form of uh, locomotion. Terrifying. Is that a butter sword? It does no damage. Its, it's attack is zero. Hmm. wonder if there are targets that are susceptible to it. Okay, first things first. I don't want to have to take the elevator again, so let's make a save here. And we go. Those uh, flea men riding are kind of terrible. Yeah. I'm impressed. Flea men riders. 10 damage a pop, too. I can only take 10 hits from them and until I'm dead. Okay. That is the leap stone. Double jump. So, yeah, I can't, uh... There's a lot of things I can't do, but I can double jump now. Which makes everything easier. Double jump. Yeah. Not much else to say. Let's... Drop down here for a second. See what's down here. Probably a whole lot of nothing. Yeah, a whole lot of nothing. What a shame. Yep, double jumps work. Get us back up to where we were. We can cross the bridge now on the other side using double jumps. I'm just thinking about the, the inverted uh, castle in this section. It's kind of terrifying because... Like, the floor is essentially space. You won't uh, die that way, but it's still annoying. Well, let's start at a different section of the castle, then. The leap stone is what we need to get access to a bunch of new areas. So let's have a look. Starting with the clock tower, I believe. Uh, or the, the clock room, I should say, not the clock tower. Okay. 
Any dungeon crawlers I recommend? Atarian Odyssey just uh, got like a compilation on um, on Steam, I believe. That would definitely be worth looking at. It is kind of brutal, a little hardcore. That is to say, um, there are uh, a lot of uh, unforgiving mechanics in Atarian Odyssey. I, at least I think they went to Steam. Let me check. Hold on. Hmm. Yes. Atarian Odyssey Collection. Uh, so yeah, I, I probably would wait for a sale or something, but um, there's the bundle of the first three games. Yeah. Here, hold on. Let me let me pull it up, real quick. Slikes. Uh, keep Brando of the Night away there. Um, I'm I'm looking at the actual. Yeah, yeah. So, um, here's an example right there. You can see how it's a grid-based first-person dungeon crawler. Um, it, it, see, there you go. That's uh, but it's uh, it's very retro, very hardcore. It's just that they've uh, this is the quote-unquote uh, modernized, stylized graphics. Yep. It's, um. Pretty good. Okay. Ooh. Mm-hmm. This way. Well, imagine if in Shin Megami Tensei there was a um there was an enemy that um would hunt you down in the dungeon. And is uh, able to move while you are on, while you're on menus, and so it will um, it can actually join and the uh, the enemy in a random encounter. So like when you when you get a random encounter and there's enemies, that the the enemy the the enemy I'm talking about is still moving through the dungeon during your turns in your random encounter, and can join the enemy's side against them. Uh, against you, yes. So, um, anything more action in real time? Um, I, I'm sure there's plenty, but that's just what, like, when you asked Dungeon Crawler, that's what uh, came off the top of my head. Um, at the end of the day, if you're looking for uh, Elder Scrolls in, uh, or uh, Fallout style Dungeon Crawlers, the answer is just a firm no. Just a huge fat no. No one does Bethesda like Bethesda. All right. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Let's go this way. I'm almost dead, so let's... Uh, Dark Metamorphosis. Dark Metamorphosis. Give me help, yes. Away we go. I mean, if you want the prototype for all Dark Souls games, try uh, Kingsfield too. <laughs> but that's uh, that's pain and suffering. Hmm. Kingsfield one is too antiquated for me to recommend to anybody. Still looking. Confused. Damn it. Give me the axe back. So yeah, easier to traverse now. That's for sure. Well, Kingsfield is one giant dungeon. Unless you're talking about Kingsfield 3, in which case, yeah, it is more like Elder Scrolls. Damn. 
Getting more hearts as we go. Kingsfield, Shadow Tower Abyss, you're thinking of. You're thinking of Shadow Tower Abyss, which is Dark Souls with bazookas. Bazookas and handguns and stuff. Very silly. Now, if you want Castlevania uh, with guns, it was... Uh, I think it was... I think it was Mao the Demon King uh, game. Mm, let's see. I, I'm trying to find it. It's pretty funny. Um, hold on, hold on. No, not Metroid. No, it's no, no. Uh, the the full Belmont strut and everything. Like we're we're talking like just what if Castlevania with pistol? Let me let me pull it up. Um. Okay. I almost got it. Okay, I found it. This is this is what if Castlevania with pistol. It's called Mao King of Demons. Oh boy, look at this guy. See what I mean? It, no, no subtlety whatsoever. It, it, the, the Belmont strut and everything. <laughs> yep. Okay. Boo. Okay. Do, 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 do. Mm hmm. Hold on, let me, let me, I'm almost done. Uh, yep, yep. See you later. Okay. Okay, we're set. We're traveling. Gonna keep going. Ba -ba -ba. Uh, I'm typing one more thing. Yes, this is the second time you said it. It's not getting any more helpful <laughs> the second time you said it as opposed to the first time. All right, I have to finish typing this. Hold on. Uh...
Okay. Go, 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 go! <laughs> Sorry, I had to fix this. Okay. Now, um... It's less about me not knowing a thing and more about me not doing the thing. <laughs> uh, I'm being distracted by like three different things at once. So it's being uh, extra special. All right, I think I think we're good. <laughs> the real problem is you would need a, an, a, some sort of actual rhythm to do it well. And, um, yeah, that, that's not, not something I'm practicing. Here's what happens if you don't have rhythm. This is, this is what happens if you don't have rhythm when you try to do it. You see, it kind of works and then it doesn't. And then you, you, you see, it's, it's not pleasant. Like any other tech, if you practice it a shit ton, then you too can be a speedrunner that I'm not. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Yes. Oh boy. We're almost there. We're going to the clock room. We're, go we're going to the clock room. I'm satisfied with being just slightly faster than normal walking. We're having fun. Ba -ba. Oh no. Why am I not using uh, the real speedrunning tech <laughs> in my casual run? I don't know. I don't know. I am a jerk though. I, I will accept that. that. That is absolutely true. Okay. Fuck. I'd say my favorite, in terms of like ease of use, my favorite movement tech in a video game that is not in, not originally intended, but they left in the game, is uh, the punch jetpack combo in No Man's Sky. That lets you like zoom really fast forward. I got my double jump. Awesome. Orox's quarters? Is this Orox's or 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 Orox's quarters? Yes. Favorite Castlevania? It's called uh, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Below that is Aria of uh, uh, Castlevania Aria of Sorrow. Below that is this game. Yes. In terms of favorites. So this is my third favorite Castlevania game. On. Boomerang. Oh no. It went away. It's gone now. What is the point of a one shot weapon? That's terrible. Mm hmm. Didn't they make it a feature instead of getting rid of it? They just ignored it. They 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 resolved never to fix it, despite fixing hundreds and hundreds of bugs. But they've never codified it as an actual movement tech. They never explained it. That's uh, why they never explain it in the game, nor do they um, have any abilities to enhance it. Mm, I mean, we, we did Rondo of Blood right before this, but uh, Castlevania 3 I didn't enjoy very much. Um, I'm not generally a fan of any game where you get hit and your character just kind of f flies off to the side. You know, classic Castlevania is not my thing, never has been. Uh, the reason Bloodstained Ritual, oh, sorry, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon 1 and 2 are so great for me is because of, um, what, what do you call it? Um, 
Um, because you can enable casual mode and just turn off Castlevania physics, basically. Yeah. So I'm, I, d despite having gotten through Rondo uh, before this, um, do not enjoy. No, classic Castlevania ain't for me. Whoop. Hold on. Damn it. Trying my best. Got it. Cool. Also, big uh, breasted nun. I mean, it, yeah. <laughs> Obviously. But, um, ever played Symphony of the Night Randomizer? No. And my next Symphony of the Night run will be a uh, Rondo of the Night. It won't be a uh, Randomizer, sadly. I have done a lot of AM2R, another Metroid 2 remake randomizer, but that's built into the game, so it's, like, super easy to use. Um, yeah, Rondo of the Night is uh, pretty fancy in the sense that it lets you... Um, it adds the full, like, Alucard RPG system to Richter, including, like, items and uh, relics. So, yeah. Okay. This way. That was Oroch's quarters. Colosseum! We're almost there. We get to the shield rod and we're set. The first Castlevania I played was called Castlevania. Didn't really enjoy it very much, to be honest. But since then, there have been a shit ton of games that I did enjoy. Mostly Metroidvanias. Mm -hmm. ba -ba Come on. Bye. Damn, these guys are way too strong. If I can get the shield rod, it's victory for me. If I can't, I'm I'm good as dead. Yeah, this guy is uh, too tanky. He's doing massive damage. How about this? <laughs> Run away! Oh, this music is great. Reminds me of Snatcher. Hideo Kojima's uh, great plagiarism. For those who don't know, Snatcher is... Blade Runner, Terminator, and Dune, all at once. It's great. I'm gonna go this way first. See which way this is. Oh, shit. Yes, this is right. Hollywood Kojima, yeah. Something like that. No. Yes. Fuck. Fuck. A part of Snatcher is Dune. Uh, outfit design. And, and of course, Thade. Uh, r r random. Hold on. Random Snatcher. Okay. Uh, pu pulling up random right now. You, you, you may uh, you, you may notice uh, a certain someone uh, from, uh, like, from Snatcher there. <laughs> With his authentic still suit on uh, as well. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> yes. He's Fade from, from the Dune movie. Yes. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Trying to find him. Hold, hold on. Uh, bu -bu okay. I'm, I'm, gotta be there. Oh, yeah, yeah, Here's a, uh, here's another one. There, there you go. <laughs> yep. Uh, Met, oh, Metal Gear Mark II is your, uh, associate, your, your little assistant there. Um, yeah. I think it was, uh, do. Uh, 
Let me see. Ah, here it is. Okay, so this is your uh, robot assistant. His name is Metal Gear Mark II. He's in Snatcher. Yes. But, um, what was it? Uh, um, <clears throat> my goodness. Thanks for being a level headed streamer. I, I'm not, I'm not, uh, that level headed. I'm, I'm just, I'm completely nuts in a different way. That's all. Um, as far as hype goes, like, I, I'm hyped for, like, a bunch of updates for games I already own that, that are, like, slated to come out. I'm just, um, it, it's, it's a, there's, there's kind of an issue with the idea of, um, uh, like when I have so many games that have so many updates slated to come out, it's like, why am I excited for new product? <laughs> you know, I, I don't have to, uh, spend more money to get, uh, more enjoyment out of things. So, uh -huh. mm. Okay, there we go. Seeing, uh, yeah, yeah, distractions, distractions, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. This way. I, I found a health up, yes. How do you stream in YouTube? Just get a webcam and you're good to go. I mean, I'd, I'd recommend Open Broadcaster, but I believe YouTube does have, like, its own streaming setup thing where uh, if you go to your control panel, there is a literal go live, and then it'll use your webcam using, like, a web app or something. So um, I think you can stream just off a webcam without a problem. But... Um, if you want to actually stream video game footage and stuff, you got to use Open Broadcaster. Fuck! Not doing that way. Yep. Yeah, Japanese companies especially value um, seniority over every, basically everything else. Fuck. I'm dead. I got shot. Holy crap. Bye, everybody. That was my death. I'm just kidding. I'm not, it's not permadeath. It's just grumble, grumble. Oh, well. Grumble, grumble. Mm -hmm. Off of Starfield. Um, it's called TTW. So I crack at Cyberpunk. Yeah, exactly. There's there's tons of games like currently to play. I mean, I'm looking forward to playing the new Baldur's Gate, you know, sometime next year. Like, I'm I'm looking forward to it. It's just, um, I got a bunch of stuff I want to play first, and I have very little time. So, we gotta go. Fuck, I keep getting knocked out. How do I even deal with this? It's incredible. Game over. Game over. Damn. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Can I duck? I can duck. The answer is to duck. Holy fuck, look at all that. Okay, we got it. We got the shield rod. This is our chance. This is our, 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 our one and only chance. Here we go. Horse, go! You can't stop me anymore. I've given Alucard a big stick. That's right. Game over. I've won this game now. Excellent. 
But, but yeah, yeah. You can't stop me. Save the game now that we got it. Awesome. <laughs> Woo. Uh, the answer was duck underneath the shots, and after that, jump over their heads. That was the answer. It's fine, though. It's fine. We, we have a weapon capable of taking this area now. Uh, we need, do need to check our shields, though. I'm pretty sure there's a different shield that can do something else, because that one's defense up, right? Let's try this leather shield and see what happens. I'll wait till we get some enemies on screen. But, uh... The effect the shield rod does is based on the... Oh, no. Okay. We're going to make a save here because this is serious business. Okay? Storyline advancement, everybody. If you're in... If you... um, If you... Like Richter Belmont, here we go. Servants, come forth from the gates of hell! Blood. The scent of your blood. You're a Belmont! Attack! Rid my castle of this pest! There we go! <laughs> ah, shit. It hurts. Cow! I believe. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. I gotta, gotta reactivate it. Cow power, go! The power of the cow renders me not invulnerable, but definitely, uh, definitely able to withstand a lot more than I should be able to. It did. Okay. Now we must use a healing item. How do I do that? I don't remember. I have to equip the item. And then I have to eat the cheese. There we go. We've eaten the cheese. Now we must re-equip the shield rod because it is the most powerful weapon we have. And we got him too. The power of the cheese. A Belmont for certain. So he says he's the lord of this castle. That's it. Richter is the lord of Castlevania. He is our enemy. The one we must defeat. That said, let's uh, go back to the save point real quick. Whoops. I'll get this right eventually. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, this way. Fair enough. Oh. Pop chat instead of live. That's true. That's true. <laughs> okay, let's see. More tales had a massive quality of life update. Yep. Yeah, aren't the Belmonts vampire hunters? They absolutely are. That's the idea is, uh, wait a second. So, how did a Belmont become Lord of Dracula's castle? That, that That's what you're trying to find out, is what happened to Richter after the end of Rondo, where he defeated Dracula. Because Dra Dracula died at uh, Richter's hands. So, why would Richter become Lord of the castle? Mist! Mist could pass. Wait. Hmm. I don't remember how to do this. It. Was it forward? Was it up? 
Was it down? That's still doge no matter how you do it. I don't remember. Like, I, 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 I turned into mist for just a second and then it didn't work. Hmm. Yes. Keep in mind, uh, one of the uh, best characters in the franchise is uh, completely neutered by Netflix. Uh, so don't don't worry about Netflix too much. It, that's its own continuity. I think it was. Uh... Yep. Here, ho hold on. Uh, if we we pick this one, here's. Uh... Like, if I had to pick a favorite uh, Castlevania game that, uh, you know, like, I, I, with no regard to the format of Castlevania, uh, my favorite would be uh, Curse of Darkness. Here we go. This is um, Hector the Devil Forge Master in his uh, quest to kill Isaac for revenge because Isaac killed, uh, or got Rosalie killed, so, you know. They summon devils and they fight. Yep. Pretty, pretty freaking good game. I like it a lot. There we go. Uh huh. Okay, I think that'll just about do it. Uh, checking that out. My goodness. Um. Okay. <clears throat> Wait, I need to turn the game sound back on. My bad. There we go. Yep, weapon crafting was pretty cool, I agree. We did it! I have no idea what we're doing now. Burn. Fur cow! cow I, I, I said... How power activate? You cannot hurt me. I have obtained the power of cow. Shield rod's my go-to weapon in, in the video game. Give me the axe back though. Awesome. Oops. We did it. Diamond's Quest. Uh, you can get the redacted mod that will greatly accelerate the uh, day to night transition. If you, um, if you really wanted to do, um, what do you call it? Um, if you really wanted to play Simon's Quest, though, like a great version of Simon's Quest, a spiritual successor to Simon's Quest, uh, there is a uh, a pornography game titled uh, Midnight Castle Succubus, which has a safer work mode, meaning you can turn the porn off, right? And um, it is straight up a spiritual successor to Simon's Quest in a pretty damn, uh, uh, pretty uh, damn well done way give me a second I'm, I'm getting distracted by things okay let's go this way oh uh, not that way yes mm -hmm. <clears throat> midnight castle succubus is a great video game you just turn the porn off yep i need to figure out how to make like how to use the mist power uh chase Let's see. Mm -hmm. Checking something. 
I mean, it's not really comparable to a Vantico <laughs> lull. Give me a second. Hold the button. I didn't do shit. <laughs> Hold L and R. Okay. That makes more sense. Cool. I just wanted to be able to make it. Yeah, it was L and R. Okay, so. The, the, the L didn't work. The R didn't work. Didn't think to use them together because, you know, as you know, I am exceptionally stupid, so. Uh, whoa, Blade Mastus. Got him. Mist could pass out of something. I don't know. Um, all right, we could use the mist to get up to certain areas. We can use the double jump to get up to certain areas as well. We don't have to be here anymore. We're, uh, we're done. Like, done, done. That's awesome. We're out of here. Yeah, when we uh, defeated uh, Rifter in that one section, I'm trying to think of what else we needed to do. Wait, what? I completely forgot that that's a thing the uh, rod could do as well. Oh, shit. On. Cool. Ow. Uh, power of the cow. We do that and this. Cow power. Yes. Defense up. Yeah, we'll be using the shield a lot more now. We just have to find a good shield to be able to get something other than cow power. Ow. Fuck. Ow. Good. We got it, though. Ah, how, how fortuitous that you came. Behold the power! The power of the cow. With the power of the cow, we need fear no enemy. They can do one point of damage to me. Some others can do more, but... For the most part, we can face tank everything with the power of the cow. Yes. We are grabbing more hearts. Hold on. I'm going to try to break the floor here. No. Nothing there. What a shame. Huh. There is a path up there. I just can't access it. Damn shame. Oh, fast travel point. Excellent. This is Orlox's quarters, I believe. Very good, very good. That leads us back to the entrance. Let's see. From the entrance, we have double jump now, which is good. Um, Let me see here. Mm-hmm. I've never done a video essay. I've done a bunch of rambling videos, but uh, an essay has a central thesis that it works towards, right? Now, a lot of people will claim that certain videos are essays, but in reality, they are um, plot synopsis. And um, it's quite sad to see people um, banding about the term essay to discuss what is essentially a plot synopsis. It's kind of sad. Ahem. Anyway, uh, my, my rambling videos are literally just me rambling. The, uh, I've seen several games named Quest This or Quest That. No, no. Let's, let's do this. Let's go back over to the library. We should be near it now. We have double jump, so we can absolutely get to where we need. Yes. Mm-hmm. Wow. Skeletons with guns. Yeah, we can one-shot all the enemies on the steps now. That is awesome. Ow! Not as awesome as I want it to be, but hey, whatever. Hearts are mine. Yes. Yeah, this is the way. We're good. Go away. 
Still takes two hits to kill that guy. Damn it. Reset. Uncurse. No thanks. I'm leaving. No reason to fight that guy. There should be Fleeman in the next area, so we should do Dark Metamorphosis. Dark Metamorphosis. I still don't know what that little uh, spinny thing does. I'm completely ignorant. Oh god, this, this one shot kills those guys so they don't bleed. Meaning you can't use Dark Metamorphosis on this part. Oh, that's interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay. Saber? Yeah, we'll use the saber. Excellent. Bleed, you bastards. I think that's about it. Yeah, we should we should go back through the main area now. Yep. This ain't gonna happen. Okay. Mm -hmm -hmm. Good. We're able to one-shot these damn blobs now. I mean, I have plenty of uncurses. Which is kind of silly. working out. Not sure how I'm going to be able to, uh, or how well I'm going to be able to do this game with Richter, though, because Richter won't get a shield rod. There is no, uh, yeah, the, the Saturn version has those extra areas, but, um, when asked about will you integrate these extra areas into uh, future remasters and stuff, they basically just said, look, the, the, the quality on these is questionable at best. Uh, we, we, we don't like them. Sorry. And that, so, basically no future versions ever had them. Even though they had the opportunity to integrate them. They were cobbled together content that the developers just didn't like. The original developers, I mean. Hello. Master Alucard. How about this? How about this? Give me the iron shield. <laughs> Thank you. Indeed. I need the diamond plates. How much for that? Too much. Too much is the answer. Hmm. I mean, the iron cure is the only one update there, so yes. Let's see, there's a guy making a Unity remake. Huh. I mean, there was a, it's funny because there was a Unity remake for um, uh, Castlevania, um, Castlevania Harmony of Despair. But despite there being one, they under no circumstances, um, uh, what, what do you call it? Uh, uh, like, the community didn't adopt it, basically at all. And it, it had its own problems, right? And so, eventually, a group of people got together, made an emulated server that connects to the... Um, uh, connects to the ROM version of it. So now everyone's emulating the original Harmony of Despair and uh, using an emulated server for it as well. And that's just kind of how it works at the moment. It's kind of funny. All right, let's get going. So I need to see about that shield. I want to see what the iron shield does. I'm My goal now is to collect all the shields in the game because each shield has its own power. Okay. That's just fine. I will accept a screen-wide nuke. Activate! Damn it. What a shame. Hey, 
Yeah, thanks for the support, Andrew. Yes. The Alucard shield activates God mode. Yes, it does. Now, now you're starting to figure out why I made a beeline straight for the shield rod. Because, uh, <laughs> that's why. <laughs> It hurts, stop it. Okay, let's uh, go back to Leather Shield. Leather Shield makes it so the monsters do one point of damage to me. Yes. No! That's what we're doing, we're leveling. See, only one point of damage now. Holy Calamoth for his lunch money, something like that, yes. Fuck. Fucking flea, man. Okay. Damn it. This is a bad day for me. Got him. All rocks will be a fun fight, I'm sure. I mean, we've been to Orlox's quarters, I just don't quite remember how to get to him because he's like in a separate version of it. Awesome, all the chairs. Yep. It is a open game so you can play all kinds of challenge modes. Yes, you, it's much like the, the dark, the darkest souls, you don't have to, um, you don't have to take advantage of certain overpowered yeah. bullshit. I remember you, the Holy Rod doesn't really do much. It's just, uh, no, it's, it's not good. I did, <laughs> there was something you used it for, and I can't remember what. But the Shield Rod just does good damage on its own for the beginning of the game, and then it, the shield powers make up for it in the end game. Yes. Uh, stone mask. I should, I should probably upgrade. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Ancient stone mask. Absolutely. Um. Silver plate. Sure. What else? No. No more cloaks. And these are all just sellable rings, so those don't matter. That's fine. Fuck. Stop hitting me. To be able to drop down, yes. We're good. Went through a hardcore roguelike. I'm not a huge fan of hardcore roguelikes. I like the, uh, I like roguelike where you build up uh, some form of uh, progression between deaths. That's just me, though. Ah, shit. Cow time! Power of the cow! Go! Okay, now that the cow power is active, I have to immediately switch shields to the iron shield, and we're going to start nuking him. Here we go! Quite happy with that. Let's keep going. The there we go. What a shame. Wait, I'm gonna try this wall. Nope. I remember this section of the castle in Aria of Sorrow specifically is for um it it teaches you like it has one of the three notes that says use this power use that power and use that power and when you use all the powers together you become captain planet i mean you uh you become dracula yes um uh, what are we doing there we go we got it 
Bat Power! Whoops. Somehow, uh, Captain Dragon doesn't actually sound that far off. Yep. We're going. Where are we going? Back. Oh no! Oh no! No 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 no! Die! Die all of you! Oh god. That, that, that didn't do anything for me. That guy's painful. We got him. Controller am I using? Standard Xbox uh, One controller. Bluetooth. Technically it's a Bluetooth, but I have it plugged in because I don't have batteries for it right now. So... It's just pulling off of the computer's USB power. Okay. Go, go, go. I think what else we wanted to do here. Terrible so far, okay. Out of pure curiosity, since uh, we're going to make a save here, and we're going to have a chit chat with the merchant about tactics. How about this? Tell me about Dracula. No, uh, Minotaur plus werewolf. I want to see what that that is. Yeah. Check this shit out. This is what they wanted me to do. This is this is the what the developers had intended. I didn't even see most of those mechanics. The cow was too busy summoning the power of cow. Yeah, I don't see a whole lot of anything. Just seems like a bunch of perfect play to me. Whereas I just invoked the power of cow and tanked everything. Yeah. That's funny. Fair enough. Cow Lacard, yes. Okay. We're not actually spending that much money to watch a fucking cutscene. Uh, we're reloading. Thank you. Young Master Alucard. How about this? How about this? I need uh, the diamond plate at some point. That would uh, increase my defense significantly. Joseph's cloak, though. What's that do? Constitution. Oh, select a color on the systems menu. Interesting. Oh boy. Yep. Away we go. Whoa. Stop it. No. Got him. Cool. Yep, we just back the hell up until it's fight time again. When we encounter too many of those things at once, we uh, activate our power. The power! Very good. You don't get familiar so much later. I'm just thinking about the sheer amount of time, like, Sure amount of exploration it takes to get your first familiar. Yeah. 
the idea is to be able to dash away from an enemy and avoid its attack. But you can abuse that to be a form of a movement technique. Yes. Yeah, Dredge, we made a beeline right for it. We, we summon the power of... Um, uh, what we do first is we, uh, whenever we start a new fight, the uh, very first thing we do is we equip the leather shield, which activates the power of Cal, which reduces most hits we take to one damage. Then afterward, we switch back over to the um, to the iron shield, which uh, just nukes the thing. And that, that's it. So that, that, that's how we deal with most encounters now. Defense and then destroy. Speaking of destroy, we must go up. Yep. But, uh... Yeah, this guy's being a bastard. Fuck you. <laughs> Money is good. Medusa heads are less good. Fuck. Flame. Almost fell back down again. Moonrod is good at this point. Hmm, didn't know about that. Don't remember. I have the Holy Rod and I have the Shield Rod, but um, the Shield Rod will last me, like, the rest of the game. Um, because of the different shield powers. Like, as I get access to newer shields, I get access to more damaging attacks. As long as I uh, keep getting new shields, everything should be fine. I should be able to double jump my way over to the end now. If not, then I can abuse the power of a uh, bat. Yep. Should be fine. Yep, double jump gets us up there. And even if it didn't, we could uh, always bat our way up there. Yep. Common shield. So uh, ice mail. Let's try the ice mail right now. Mm, yep, upgrade. Strong versus ice. Now what about that uh, shaman shield? Oh no! What did that even... Oh, intelligence up. Which means I could cast spells. In other words, it's worthless. Because I'm, I'm not going to be doing... Uh, I'm not going to be doing the... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, oh, what's that ability called? Uh, the... The toss. Yeah. Baphomet. Yeah, it's Baphomet. But, uh... I'm trying to remember what the hell that uh, attack was. The the Dracula face... Uh, Dracula teleport attack. Oh, shit. And stoned again by the Medusa. Oh, God. The water is painful. It eats away at us. I need a relic to be able to survive water. Wait, what? Yeah. There's something up at the top, and I forgot how it works. Hold on. I don't have a bat dash, do I? What a shame. I'm gonna check the other side real quick. I'm gonna be stupid. Music's good, though. I don't know what we're doing. Oh, okay. Yes! The fire of the bat. Now, we can shoot fire as the bat. We're just gonna fly over, back over to where we were before though and continue ascending the clock tower. I think that is a good idea. Let's see here, okay, cool. Pizza. Pizza. Got 
pause it. I, I'm, uh, I, I realize that the game's sound is overpowering everything I need to hear. So be back in a sec. Okay, so this pizza is like um got barbecue sauce. It's got um pineapple and it's got um sausage, so it's and pepperoni. So it's, it's weird like the the barbecue sauce seems to be like sweet, so it's synergizing with the uh with the pineapple. Very interesting taste. I don't think that it would have tasted good with tomato sauce. Like, I, I think that the pineapple and the tomato sauce would have fought each other. But with barbecue sauce instead, it's actually really good. What's the Castlevania with the terrible card system? I'm eating right now, by the way. Circle of the Moon sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah, it swings wildly from uh, absolutely worthless to breaks the game. Yeah, I wasn't talking about with cheating. <laughs> I meant just like using it as intended. It swings wildly 
between worthless to this the game is just fucked now. I didn't get access to it until years later. Hey, Dretch, um, you should see if there are any ROM hacks for that to either fix the problem or translate the Japanese version to English. Be curious about that. Almost ready. Yeah, my first Castlevania was Castlevania 1, but I didn't appreciate it at the time. I didn't really like it. And um, I never really learned to appreciate classic Castlevanias. I think the ones I do like are Bloodstained, Curse of the Moon 1 and 2, because you can turn off the Castlevania physics. What I mean is, like, you can control your... Like, if you turn... Uh, there's hard mode, and then there's casual mode, right? And in casual mode... You can control your trajectory in, in midair like every other platformer. And you can also uh, not get knocked back when you uh, get hit by things. And those two things tra uh, transform the game from, oh my god, I hate this, to I fucking love this. Just those two little changes. Okay. I think I'm good. I just had two slices of pizza. And I was like, oh boy. Yep. The the power of toothpicks, you see. That that's what actually spent that that's what took most of the time was toothpicks. True. Alright. <clears throat> I think we're good. I'm gonna wipe my hands real quick. Okay, we're set. Oh. Bat power. Doge power. Nightmare mode, uh, I say. Okay. Fuck. Ow. I mean, if you're coming to the game for RPG mechanics, that's awful. Just awful. Oh, what the hell is this clock tower doing? What is this nonsense? Why am I using the wrong shield? Not the knight shield, I need the iron shield.
This place is awful. I'm gonna die. I need to leave here. I'll be back. Uh, oh, that gate's supposed to open. Hmm, I think I understand. I, th I think I do. I think I understand what's supposed to happen here. I'm just gonna go up this way. Damn it, I lost my axe. Goodbye. We did it. Suffering. That's the name of the game. Have some salt. Damn, that is awful. I had no idea. Well, time to kill him with uh, swords. Kill my swords. Yep. Really? I didn't expect phantom swords here, but I guess that's what we get. Bye. Damn. Ray. Damn. Got him. Oh, I see what's supposed to happen here. Right. Gradius shield. Cool. We'll be back when we're not at 17 fucking health on the verge of death. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, about that. We're at 17 health on the verge of death. Or dead. Oh, not yet. We got him. Hell yeah. Get me health up. Yep. We're set. We killed Kaku, man. This is the end. Let's go beat the game. We have to defeat the evil lord of the castle, Richter Belmont. Okay. Power of the bat lets us get up there. And then when we enter the castle, we open that up. That lets us get all the cool items. Remember up here? Whoop. The design's a bit different. Remember there was a statue there. Oh well. Frankfurter report throws turkey, sirloin. That's a lot of food. Resist holy platinum mail. Okay, that's something we can use right now. Oh yeah. Upgrade defense. Okay. Max hard up, that's great. <clears throat> Alright, let's uh let's make a save here since we'll obviously be wanting to play the game more afterward. Here we go. I've been waiting for you. Richter, why would a Belmont ever plan to resurrect Count Dracula? Dracula rises once a century. One chance for each Belmont to shine. And then we're finished. Forgotten. If I bring him back now, the battle can last for eternity. Damn. <laughs> Grand Cross. Hey, that hurt. Whoops. Yeah, stop, stop, stop using all your sub weapons. You're only supposed to have one of those, Richter. You're only supposed to have one of those. One more, go. 
greatest attack. Fuck. Um. 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 Leather. 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 Cow. The power of the cow. Yes. The power of the cow has protected me from Hydro Storm. You have no idea. The power of the cow. Fuck. He just keeps hitting me with holy crosses. Fuck. Bell Richter, stop it. It's over, Belmont. So, the war between humans and vampires finally ends here. What need for the shepherd when the wolves have all gone, huh? My time. It's over now. Goodbye, Richter. You shall be missed. As for Castlevania itself, it's time to say goodbye. We had to kill Richter Belmont. Mankind knows little but war and desperation. What other way of life did Belmont know? He and father chose the same path. Farewell, homeland. I shall never see your beauty again. I have to turn that off. That's copyright music. I'm not even joking. It's pretty good music. You should look it up. We did it! We beat the game. As you can see, there is no completion there. Now let us rewind to before we killed Richter. And now, we'll go this way. That is the false, quote-unquote, bad ending. Where Richter dies. Fucking flaming! Ah, oh, well. <clears throat> what was I saying? Ah, oh, yes. We must travel. I want to see what's up in the top corner here. You think the game's muted? Yeah. Let's fix it. Bamp. Game unmuted. There you go. Up, up, and away. Wait. Yeah, Fleeman. Okay. Let's see what's up in this corner. The answer is a another soul. There's another soul up there. What is it? The power of mist. What the hell does that do? The power of mist extends my mist transform time. Okay, so I can mist around for a while. That feels like an entirely uh, pointless um, power. 
It isn't even, uh, like, toxic mist. Mm hmm Yeah, it isn't even the attack one. It just makes the mist last longer. It's silly. Oh, well, there's lots of places we can go. I'm gonna go down to the bottom here. Um... Uh, did I ever play Mist a long time ago? Hold on. I'm gonna go. Actually, I'm gonna go up first. There, there are other places I want to check out, but I'm gonna go back to the clock tower and be stupid. Up, up, and away. I'm make absolutely certain. Did we go to the right? The answer is yes. That is a save point. Hmm. Which means there's a spot up here. Hold on. I think all rocks is up here. If I, if I had to, if, if I had to remember, if I remember correctly, let's let's save the game first. Do a regular save just in case. Just in case I I cook one of my uh, save states. I, I want a decent like normal save. Okay. Oh, that's it. Okay. It's just a, a sword. Nothing big. Means we go down. Up. This way. And this is the, the Kiku Man sauce, whatever creature we just killed over here. He dead. The game is saying go that way. I say okay. Cool. I did keep a little of that original gameplay. It's unnecessary due to Alucard's reversal options, but hey. Whoop! I saw that and was like, excuse me! Go don't, don't even. Don't even start with me. So weird. Damn it. The sword's still alive. Even after the man dies, the sword lives. Perky! Oh no. Okay, we're fine. Gotta go back up. Got him. Good. I mean, but no, no, we just we just got the fake ending where Rick, where we killed Richter, uh, and we, we did that. We, we we did that just a moment ago. It's like, look, here's the real ending. Richter's dead. All right. <clears throat> Have you ever played Aria or Dawn of Sorrow? Aria of Sorrow is my favorite uh, Castlevania game. Underneath the. Uh, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Ritual of the Night improves upon the soul system significantly. But, um... Yeah. Whoops. Fuck. Okay. Eh, ain't gonna work. Fuck. Up, up, and away. Cool. Where am I? What am I doing? I don't recognize this place. This looks like a place out of, uh... Super Metroid or something. Fuck. No. Shinoa's the main character. E -e 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 -e. <laughs> Miriam is an amalgamation of Soma and uh, Shinoa. Uh, physically, she looks like Shinoa, but... Um, Mechanically, she's, uh, whoop. Yeah. She, she gathers souls. Yeah. Rit th Ritual of the Night is actually a, it's a spiritual successor to Castlevania. It's not actually, um, it, <clears throat> it's uh, not actually a Castlevania game. It's, um, 
It's basically the the guy who did uh, Aria of Sorrow, Dawn of Sorrow, Order of Ecclesia, and Portrait of Ruin. That dude. He um <clears throat> he made a super cut of all his uh best ideas and shoved them into one game. That's what um that's what uh, uh called Symphony of the uh, sorry <laughs> Uh, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night is. Sorry. Um, bu 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 um hold on. Yeah, let me let me check things. Um, <laughs> okay. I think it was, um, grabbing this to see if it's the one I was looking for. It might be. It might not be. Who knows? <clears throat> ah, yeah, yeah. This is the one. Mm hmm. Yep, yep. You got it. Yeah, that, 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 that game. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, it's, uh, functionally speaking, it's a Symphony of the Night 2 Electric Boogaloo. In other words, um, instead of Richter being mind-controlled by Shaft, it's, um, uh, Gaybell being mind-controlled by whatever the hell the Moon Lady's name was. Instead of sli uh, slashing a green orb... You have to slash uh, the moon itself in the background when it starts glowing red. Um, <clears throat> anyway, let me see here. I think it was... Uh, it was Curse of the Moon. Yeah, Curse of the Moon. If you wanted uh, Castlevania 3, but legally distinct using the Bloodstained Universe, they got that one too. Zanketsu, a sword-wielding exorcist who will stop at nothing to eradicate all demons. Miriam, a young woman who has had crystals transplanted by alchemists. She battles against demons with her fearsome whiff. Alfred, an alchemist seeking the Liber Logaith texts. He battles demons with his mastery of alchemy. g -Bell, a young man who, like Miriam, has had crystals transplanted. He bears deep hatred for humans and alchemists alike. It gets crazier in the sequel, too. Yes, this had a sequel. Will you form alliances or forge your own path? You can choose to... Life and death hang... When you get a new character, you can choose to recruit them, ignore them, or kill them with different consequences. In the balance, as the horrible night rages on... Hmm. Uh, let's see. Uh, Curse of the Moon 2. Uh, that one is, uh, extra special. 
here we go. Th this one is nuts. Just nuts. Under siege by a new group of demon slayers. Zangitsu. A sword-wielding exorcist who will stop at nothing to eradicate all demons. Dominique. An exorcist sent by the church who heals her allies and uses her spear to fell demons. Robert. A sharpshooting soldier capable of sniping his demonic foes Wait for it. Wait for it. Firearms. Get ready for it. Best Hachi. boy. A corgi who pulverizes demons by controlling a colossal suit of magic armor. One more time for anyone who missed that, okay? Ahem. <clears throat> pulverizes demons. Th th this, th this guy right here is... Hachi. A corgi who pulverizes demons by controlling a colossal suit of magic armor. Yes. It is a dog piloting a mecha robot. Zangetsu also joins forces with figures from the past. Miriam. A young woman who had shards transplanted by alchemists. Alfred, an alchemist on a continuous journey for the Logaith texts. Jebel, a young man with a deep hatred for humans and alchemists alike. Fates intertwine as the clash against demon kind begins anew. Will you Face the demonic threat alone or with calm. Look at this. Okay, ch check this shit out. This guy uh, just threw scythes, right? That are like boomerangs or like the Crusader Cross. But this is two player co op. You can synergize powers, so he, he froze them. And now they're using them as platforms. Yes. Co op in Castlevania 3, basically. As the horrible night rages on once again. Bloodstained Curse of the Moon 2. But yeah, th these are all being made by Inti Creates. Inti Creates is great at what they do. Like, um, <clears throat> for those who don't know, they're the people who made um, Mega Man 0, 1 through 4. Mega Man ZX, they then were hired to make a terrible game called Mighty Number no. 9, which was completely outside their wheelhouse. But the develop the lead developer, the guy who hired them to do it, is like, D -d -d I know you're not very good at this, but you should do it anyway. So they did it anyway, and it was shit. So then they uh, they went back to doing uh, cool stuff like Gunvolt. Gunvolt is really fun. Um, my favorite Inti Creates game personally is. Um, yeah, oh yeah, the Blaster Master remakes are good, but um like there there's a uh vi uh minor villain in Gunvolt. Um and his um his games cuz they they like have a spin-off series, you see in in the Gunvolt series. There like in the the first Gunvolt game, there's a bad ending where Gunvolt dies. And so the minor villain kind of um, takes up his place and, uh, you know, against the main villain. And so that's that's what this series is. It's it's called a Luminous Avenger X, and this is my favorite um, Inti Creates game. No. Copen, the mysterious young man known as the Luminous Avenger X. His basic attack is a photon laser gun that fires high-speed projectiles directly at his targets. Copen marks his targets by dashing into them. He can then hit all his shots with perfect accuracy from anywhere on the screen. By consuming bullets, Copen can perform a high-speed aerial bullet dash. 
A combat support robot created by Copen. She can replicate enemy Septimas and turn them into EX weapons that Copen can use at will. Yeah, point is, it's um, it's a Mega Man like game, but with um, like a huge emphasis on aerial combat. It's uh connected to the Gunvolt universe. It's like uh, again, it's a spinoff of the bad ending of Gunvolt One. So Gunvolt has two other games, Gunvolt Two and Three, that take place in the quote unquote uh, good ending. Um, and yeah, unfortunately, he kind of dies the death in the main series. All right, let's get going. Back to it. Oh shit. Look at that guy. He dead. I was scared there for a second because he was floating around like he was a god, and then it turned out no, no, he he's Huh? He's back. I don't know, like that guy's freaking scary. Does he just keep respawning? Huh. Yeah, I think he just keeps respawning. Mm -hmm. Which consoles did I have as a kid? Uh, the first video game I ever played was called Pong, and it was on, on an arcade console, like an uh, arcade uh, cabinet. Afterward, I had the opportunity to play um, the, the old Atari games, but I never owned any of them. The first actual console I owned was an NES, a Nintendo Entertainment System. And uh, I had the Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt combo cartridge. Um, and um, then I, um, I got a 486X Intel, and it did not come with a sound card. I had to get one installed later. I also had to get a uh, Mathco processor installed to you know sit beside my, my main processor in order to play certain games because... Uh, my processor wasn't strong enough uh, to be able to play all, all the games. Yes. All right. <clears throat> Let's go. I'd say from there, I ended up uh, transitioning away from console. I mean, I, I had access to consoles all the way up to, you know, modern day. It's just... I transitioned away from consoles for the most part and spent a lot of time on the proto internet where we were doing um like we were playing like text based MMOs called MUDs and to get access to them you didn't really use the internet you used a a dial up like you used your modem to dial up to specific phone numbers which would connect you to these smaller networks called uh sorry called bulletin board services or BBSs It wasn't really the internet. It was, uh, it was kind of, whoop. Oh, I said, uh, b -b -b yeah, problem with NT creates. Uh, Dragon Marked for Death. They, they, I, I have that game. I just never played it. It was on sale. And, uh, I picked it up. But I've never actually played it. Fuck. Ah. How does it work? I don't understand. How is this supposed to work? Does it latch? I, I, I don't understand. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm losing health rapidly being in the water. I don't know how these work. I don't know how any of these switches work. 
Very confusing to me. There's another one. I don't know what this does. Or when it maxes out. I know I'm hitting it successfully, but... Uh, also, how does it work? When does it cap out? I don't... I don't... Like, that's, there's no information being conveyed by... Other than the switch moves. Zero information conveyed. What is this? I, I don't... I don't understand. It never caps out. You'll hear a click when that's... Uh, happened. Uh, okay. So I'm assuming I go down now. And do the next one. It clicked. I heard it click. Okay. I'm assuming the other ones here have to click too. Fucking hell. Yeah. If you hit it after you hear a click, it might mess it up. That's funny. Yeah. Heard a da ding. I heard a da ding. That's a click. I heard a click. I heard a click. I definitely, definitely heard a click. Okay. I heard that beeping. I'm gonna die. Use holy water. I know it's that gate below. I just don't know what to do about it, so I'm gonna die. I'm gonna. I'm just. Gonna, yeah, I'm dead. All dead. 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 Because I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. Stone. Rock and stone. Rock and stone. We're going. I think we can double jump to get that. Yes. We're a little ways back, but I want to know how the damn switch works. I, I don't understand. The answer really is come back later. The, 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 answer, the answer is come back later. I will have a relic that will make me immune to water damage, so... At which point I won't care about this anymore. Yep. Vinyl, read the video description. Okay. This way. Mm hmm. Hmm. Going up. This is Or Orlox's quarters. We're gonna go fight Orlox. Pretty sure that's gonna happen. Fuck. 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 There we go. Fuck. Fuck. Is YouTube working out for you over Twitch? Uh Andrew, thanks for the ten dollar A. Um it's working pretty well so far. I mean, I have to be a little more picky about what I do copyright-wise because YouTube's bots automatically pick up on it and can fuck the stream over in real time. 
But aside from that, um, I mean, I've, I've done tons of streams that I've been enjoying. It's just, uh, y you know, tw Twitch is, has been kind of bitchy. Um, but I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not happy with uh, what Twitch has been doing, so. Oh shit, imagine being able to let these guys out and have them bite you. When people come up and like uh, pound on the the bars, I'm like, hey, I need to and to save you. See, so, yeah, so like imagine imagine unlocking the door. Uh, there's no door lock here, but imagine there was. So you open the door, and then the guy, um, you know, bites you or whatever. That would uh, be terrible. Like no good good deed goes goes unpunished, but we're gonna let you perform that deed anyway. See that noise? I don't know what that means. I don't understand. I hear it occasionally when I'm using the shield rod, but it doesn't mean anything to me. Okay. Hey, in the upside down castle, don't you meet the like the Kiko man boss here again, like as a refight, but he's just kind of there. Yeah, this is the way to Orlocks. Uh, all rocks, I mean. Yep, 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 yep. Here we go. We're gonna make a save here on number two. We're gonna fight all rocks. Uh, gonna get my shield ready. I need, I need you to switch to the Moo Cow shield first. Um, we should be able to annihilate him with the iron shield, but we'll get the Moo Cow shield ready first. Ch check out all rocks. He's a, he's a nice guy. There he is. There, that's all rocks. We're in ball purple. <laughs> Cow time. He's uh, equipping his armor right now. While he's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the iron shield. Yeah. Oh, no, he's, he's summoning bats. Yeah, it's all rocks. Damn. No! Holy crap! Okay, you got me, okay? You, you got me. I'm gonna duck. Oh, all rocks is true form. Here it comes. Lizardo. We got him. Holy cross. Everyone's been uh, debating whether or not Mark Zuckerberg is a synth from uh, Fallout 4, a.k.a. an android, like, replicant, or whether he's a, um, a lizard man. And, and no, one, no one really has an answer to that. Some people think they do, but... It's very uncertain. Go about. In the darkness, we can now, uh use a echo to kind of figure out where the hell we are as as the bat so this is good this was required for later in the game to find the spike breaker male which then um the spike breaker male said uh badly fouled up the metaverse it seems very human you haven't seen him testifying before the United States Senate. Hmm. Okay. I hear that in real life. In real life, 
uh, an actual window popped up that informed him that he was vilified with uh, with the United States people. New Vegas style. Alright, here we go. This way! Cool. Interconnected. Yep. Still better than elongated muskrat. Well, honestly, I think that, um... The elongated muskrat is mentally ill. Like, actually needs help. Mentally ill. Like, he should probably... I, I, I don't want to say have his company taken away, but um, he should uh, he should have someone put in in place um, to uh, see to his matters while he is uh, perhaps forced to speak to someone for um, you know a while ab about uh, why he's doing what he's doing. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I can't do anything about this room. What a shame. Okay, this... That would lead us back to the Colosseum if we went that way. But let's do this. I did not mean to do that again. My bad. Oh well. Let's go up here. The dog does not take us up here. Being told you're a genius and being given billions of dollars uh, screws with your perception of reality? Probably. I mean, people kept saying he was a genius, and I kept telling people, hey, um, this guy, his job is to convince people to spend money on his behalf. He is not the person launching rockets. He's not the person designing rockets. He's not the person designing cars. He's doing, um, I, he, he is a, uh, a, his job is to get other people to spend money. That's, that's a, that's what he has done from the beginning. And that's fine. Like, there's a reason venture capitalists exist in the first place. Like, yep. Yes, Bill Gates was a real engineer, correct. And now, he, he did kind of screw with people. Uh, Bill Gates got where he was by screwing over a few people for uh, small, like, giving them uh, very small amounts of money for, you know, disproportionately large amounts of work. But that's being an asshole. That's not being unqualified. Oh, we got the Morning Star. How nice. Don't need it. Completely unrequired. Yep. Wow, I can do four damage to the spike ball now. I wonder if I can actually destroy it. Oh, I crit for 20 damage! Amazing! I'm probably not gonna be able to destroy this thing. I would just care. You know what? Fuck it. Power, power time. <laughs> Who's unqualified? Oh, uh, there are people who, like, believed that uh, Elongated Muskrat was an engineer or a, um, like, a an actual qualified engineer who was doing work on rockets. Or, um, uh, or, um, cars, you know, like uh, that, that he was a, a genius in these fields that, that he was actually the one making all the stuff, right? That there are a lot of people in the real world who thought that. It's kind of funny. Hmm. Software or hardware guy? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, I have taken classes. Um, 
in um, electronics uh, or electrical engineering. I ha and I have taken uh, classes in um, software development, specifically like C++ and shit. And I do none of them. Yes. He said he runs the companies. Yes, exactly. He runs the companies. He's an administrator. He's not uh, a genius in those fields where people say he was. The, the, the evangelizing of the uber wealthy is uh, something people need to, um, you, you know, um, stop doing and actually look at what what they do as human beings. Like, what their actual day-to-day -day is and not what their company does. Because pe people evangelize them like they are, um, you know, and, and claim that they have in, informed opinions about certain things, but... One of the best things I've ever read was by a software engineer, right? Who said, like, people said that Elon is a genius when it comes to cars. But this guy didn't understand cars, right? So he just ignored it. When people said Elon was a genius when it came to rockets, they, um, like, th this person didn't understand rockets, right? So he just shrugged and moved on. Finally... People said Elon is a genius when it comes to, you know, Twitter and thing and, you know, like uh, the software. So um, Elon started speaking uh, the, the most inane bullshit that uh, this guy had ever seen, you know, as far as like how servers work and how the, the software that runs Twitter works. And so he came to the conclusion that if people are saying Elon is a genius about this, this is before Elon ruined everything, by the way because, you know, Elon ruined everything. But they came to the conclusion that if people are saying he's a genius about anything, they should probably stay, like, the, this this person should stay away from anything Elon says, uh, sorry, any, anything people think Elon is a genius ab about. Basically, the man is um, absolutely, um, absolutely stupid about what people have been saying he was smart about. And in fact, he has surrounded himself, at least in, in other areas, not, not when it comes to Twitter, but when it comes to like rockets and, and cars, he has surrounded himself with people who are smart. But when it comes to Twitter, he fired all the people who are smart. That's the idea, is that uh, like anyone who knew what they were doing with the administration of that platform, and as far as like the actual running of the code base and the servers, those people are all, they're, they're all gone now. So, in other words, don't listen to what the man has to say. He's um, <laughs> he 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 doesn't know what he's talking about. He surrounds himself with smart people when it comes to like Tesla and um, and, and you know SpaceX, and that's cool. And you should probably look into what those companies are doing. But in reality, um. What Elon himself says, you should ignore him. He he's a dumbass. It, it, he's uh he's also mentally unwell, and he's even said he's mentally unwell. He's he's come out and said it publicly. So um, it's best to just ignore him and his entire little sphere of bullshit. Look look at what his companies say. That's cool. Like I'm not saying disregard his companies. I'm saying that um, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, the, the <laughs> Amber Heard and uh, who she was with uh, before Elon, it was, that was, that was toxic shit right there. Like they, they were both toxic to each other. It's amazing. I mean, if you can pull a, a toxic lady who, uh, you know, wa wastes shit tons of money in court, like go for it, I guess. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, you fucking know. Mm. Mm. Yeah. It's true, though. Uh, there was actually a Mercy... Um, what, what do you call it? Uh, there, there was a Mercy picture that they had... Uh, Elon had. Uh, with with uh, Amber Heard was cosplaying as Mercy and shit. And it was very... It was very strange. It was, it was, it was the most bizarre shit. Like, wh why, why do you... Why do you brag about that shit on... Uh, on social media, it's because that, that, that's how you need to validate yourself, I guess. You need to let the internet know that you uh, slept with Amber Heard, I guess. 
Don't know. But yeah. Uh, she and Donny, Johnny Depp were just extremely toxic to one another. It was amazing. It was a mutually toxic relationship. Fairly incredible. Hey, you... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly, Andrew. It's That's just fucking nuts. Mm-hmm. Yes. Getting successful because he's dumb? He, de he definitely uh, spent a huge amount of time, uh, like, talking up how he was a self-made man and that his father did not had an, have an emerald mine to self-start him. And then his father said, excuse me, uh, son, you're being a little ungrateful here. Money begets money, usually. But yeah, Elon tried to say he was a self-made man, and his father was like, uh, excuse me, son! <laughs> excuse me! You said, uh, glossed over. He, he, he said he was mentally unwell. Yeah, apparently he's bipolar. It's crazy shit. Yep. Don't know. But, I mean, the thing, we, we've, we've been able to establish the fact that People who are successful in one specific area aren't necessarily incredibly uh, savvy in other areas. Elon's special ability, what, what, what he is great at, what, what, what he is great at convincing other people to spend their money on his behalf. That is Elon's special ability. That He is extremely charismatic when he, uh, when he gives presentations. And in that sense, there there have been as many failures as there have been successes. Yep. Being given money does not guarantee success. It's true. That's why things like the Hyperloop are uh, fucking off in obscurity. But as long as you have a good PR manager, then uh, most people are only going to hear about the successes. And that that is that is unto itself a um, that, that's a form of success, isn't it? I think so. Good evening. Mm -hmm. That's most businessmen, yes. Yeah. I'm just saying right now, when Elon's talking on X, you should probably, or, or his, his Twitter, whatever abomination it is, just, just take what he says with, a huge grain of salt considering, again, the man is um, showing some serious warning signs. Yeah, all right. <clears throat> Chief among them, he uh, spoke about his own mental health. He, um, yeah, you should ignore everyone on Twitter. I agree. That, that, that's that's a good idea. The platform honestly deserved to die long before Elon bought it. I'm gonna stream next week. That's a very good question. Twitter is shit? Yes. Yeah, I agree. I think it's most people's takes on Twitter. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Most you ever used it for is what's happening in the world? Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Um, yep. Stay's a dumbass. He absolutely. He's absolutely. Um, proven himself a handful of times a dumbass, so. I hate to say it, but even the most rich and successful people can prove themselves buffoons from time to time. It's just that when you put someone on a pedestal. When you hold their accomplishments up as an idol, then it's going to be um, may maybe not a good time for you it, when you are let down. Because, uh, yeah. Okay. I need to figure out where we're going next. Let's have a look.
Looks like we should head up the clock tower going the other way. Let's go do that. No, um, when it comes to specifically software and server engineering, people have pretty much said he didn't know what he was talking about when he was saying things. So, when they called him a dumbass, they called him a dumbass for... for a good reason. Because he didn't know what he was talking about. All right. Anyway, we're going up the middle now. I want to try going up the other side, though. I don't have a watch for this. Yes. Yep. It would be interesting to see just how many projects he meaningfully contributed to the engineering on. Because uh, at this point, I'm very skeptical. Gravity boots, we did it. We can now go as high as we want without fear. Hey, check the clock. We need to use a special, um, we, we need to get access to this side here. Mm -hmm. Yep. delete my Facebook due to uh, family connections through it, but I haven't actively used it in, um, I want to say close to a decade. Outside of occasional, hey, uh, someone tried to talk to you on Facebook. Can you go talk, talk to them back? I'm like, okay. Fair enough. Okay, I, I, we just need to get a pocket watch here. Yeah, I don't see anything here. Um, I don't see where we can get uh, the pocket watches. I think we gotta go to the other side. I, I think the pocket watch, if we drop down here, left up, yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, I have an absolute shit ton of social media accounts that, um,. I almost never use outside of uh, making sure that the security credentials are up to date. As far as the Twitter-like applications, like, you know, Mastodon and, uh, uh, what do you call it, Blue Sky and stuff, those just kind of broadcast copies of my uh, my streaming announcements, basically, or my, my uh, what are, not streaming announcements, video announcements. Mm. Gilded is also terrible. Matrix is the um, is the true open source network. You want decentralized and open source. G uh, Gilded is uh, a, just a different um, a different version of Discord, owned by different people. Unless they've changed it while I wasn't paying attention. Because I only paid attention to Gilded when it was in the begin its uh, early stages. Ma Matrix is um, Matrix is basically the Discord ver like uh, the sorry the open source version of Discord, kind of like the way uh, Mastodon is the open source version of Twitter, right? It's um, okay. Here we go. We're gonna use the watch. And now we can go up there. Cool. We did it. Alucard shield. Alucard. This is not the Alucard shield. This is the Alucard. I see. It did nothing. It... It... <laughs> Alucard sword. Alucard. It, it, it's worse than my current sword. <laughs> uh, and the Alucard mail is worse than my current armor as well. 
It, it it doesn't really resist those things. It's it's terrible. Yeah. But what I'm mostly trying to say, more than anything else, is people tend to look at companies as monoliths and the owner of the company as the uh, as the sole visionary behind those com that company's accomplishments. Got your starting gear back? No, I don't. Th these are the Alucard. They're they're fake. But yeah, a lot of people tend, tend to view uh, a la Steve Jobs. Oddly enough, Steve Jobs was a very stabilizing force for Apple. Apple was kind of doing um, terribly before Bill Gates uh, forced them to bring, um, to bring Steve Jobs back on. I think that uh, Steve Jobs had like a thing where he talked about the, let's go, hold on. This, this has happened so many times and uh, on, now let's see. This, this was a good, uh, a good uh, video there. More about that with John Scully later on. And I, I think I understand it now pretty well. What happens is like with John Scully, um, John came from PepsiCo. And they, they at most would change their product, you know, once every 10 years. I mean, to them, a new product was like a new size bottle, right? So if you were a product person, you couldn't change the course of that company very much. So who influenced the success of PepsiCo? The sales and marketing people. Therefore, they were the ones that got promoted, and therefore, they were the ones that ran the company. Well, for PepsiCo, that might have been okay. But... It turns out the same thing can happen in technology companies that get, get monopolies, like, oh, IBM and Xerox. If you were a product person at IBM or Xerox, so you make a better copy or a better computer, so what? When you have a monopoly market share, the company's not any more successful. So the people that can make the company more successful are sales and marketing people, and they end up running the companies. And the product people get driven out of the decision-making forums. And the companies forget what it means to make great products. Yeah. Well, Bill Gates no longer has an active uh, role in the day-to-day -day managing of... Um, the day-to-day the -day managing of um, Microsoft at this point. You say you say great products, but think about it from the perspective of somebody who, like, is a danger to electronics. Okay, like I would never use an Apple phone. I would never use an Apple computer because I value freedom and, and, and things like that. Right. Um. It was called um. Yeah, we're not going to discuss what he's doing outside of uh, his role with Microsoft. We're going to leave that one done. Um, what was I saying, though? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> as far as the... Um, as far as that goes, uh, let me see here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that, that, uh, that conversation is, uh, is, is done. Uh, we're, we're done talking about that shit. That, that's a good way to get the algorithm to hate our faces. So, what was I saying? Uh, it, it, yes, um, definitely being like that. De definitely, um, de de definitely ending that conversation. Y you can go have it somewhere else <laughs> because uh, the algorithm will absolutely despise me for the the, the direction that's going. Yes. Mm. Anyway, let me say here. Well, uh, yeah, so Apple. Apple is interesting because um, oh, this isn't a public square, though. This is like a corner of a um, of a live stream that is run under the auspices 
of um um what do you call it uh uh utube keep that in mind this is not the public square you just have convinced yourself that it is Let me see here. Public squares are regulated too, to be honest. Perhaps. Uh, anyway, back back to the topic about quote unquote great products, right? There are people who are very, very dangerous. And I don't mean to society at large, I mean to their own products, okay? Give a person um an Android, and they will have the thing full of viruses. They will have their bank account information, uh, you know, put into an illicit website within about 20 minutes. You know, like uh, they, they they will be crying about how um, how um, Microsoft told them that they needed to update their uh, their phone, even though it's, you know, like an Android. Uh, Microsoft told them they need to, like, fix their phone. And so they're on they're on the phone with Microsoft about how to fix their stuff. Right. And. Um, that's usually old people that that's that's old people but it's also younger people who have who have absolutely no aptitude okay there are younger people who are just brain dead when it comes to electronics and it's i i'm what i want to say is that as much as we like to meme about how apple is terrible and it, and it is and i would never use an apple product i would give an iPhone to someone like that, knowing that it's a walled garden where they can't really uh, fuck it up too easily. You see, wall, like the walled garden approach protects people with absolutely no sense of how to use electronics from themselves. And in that sense, Apple products are great products for those people who need to be protected from themselves but still want to be able to use a cell phone. Yes. That's, um, not, uh, I'm not saying that I would ever use one of those products for myself, but I would probably, probably give one of those products to uh, someone I know. Uh, if, um, said person, um, were a danger to them uh, to, to their own hardware essentially and i've seen people you said hyperbole most likely Oof. <laughs> uh there, there are people who don't know what a folder is uh sorry like they, they don't understand the whole file system concept they uh if you show them what the file browser is their eyes will gloss over and they'll uh, screw up a bunch of things and go, it, it's not working. And that, that's what they'll tell you, by the way. That That is their, um, that, that, is, that is exactly what you will hear from them is, it's not working. And then you'll see the whole thing's been fucked. Yeah. Where'd you save it? In Photoshop. Yes. That's what I'm trying to say. Is uh, Apple products are great products for people who are uh, dangerous to their own devices. Yeah. Okay, I gotta. I got. I got the stopwatch. I got the Alucard stuff. Uh, let's double check this. Hold on. Uh. Yeah, I guess we just gotta go. Like, there's nothing in this section, so let's go over to the beginning of the castle and let's pick up some uh, items that I didn't get earlier. Yes, paying thousands for hand-holding big pass for me. Yes, but um, imagine. Imagine you give them like a Galaxy Note, uh, you know, 20 or whatever, and they, they they utterly wreck it. It becomes a brick. And so you look at that, and you, you reconsider your life choices. Because it's... I wouldn't pay thousands for hand-holding for myself, but for someone who I need to have a phone... I need for them to be able to uh, communicate, but, um, you know, it's either that or get them a dumb phone. 
which then when they need certain apps, certain, uh, you know, things, they can't use them because um, they have a dumb phone, right? And we just kind of scratch our heads and go, what is any of this? Mm -hmm. So, I, again, I would never use such a product because uh, it sounds like a terrible deal for someone like myself. But, um, I mean, unless you're saying you are the dumb person who would break your phone in two seconds, then it doesn't apply to you. You don't need to pass. In fact, you, you are completely irrelevant to the conversation. Okay. Boom. If you are the type of person who would would end up destroying your phone, then um, I'm not too happy about you having access to uh, uh, said hardware. All right. Andrew, it's a creative role. It is not engineering, it is not hardware, it is not software. It is a creative role. Okay, we're going this way. Has nothing to do with uh, software or hardware development. Not e not even a bit. I've said this before, but all I need is a cheap one hundred dollar laptop and a and a word processor and access to the internet. That's it. I can do basically everything in Confluence or um, a, uh, whatchamacallit, um, but I, I think uh, my main, like, Matrix, Confluence, uh, Zoom, uh, and then, you know, web-based applications, like a anything that can run in the web browser. So ba basically, Just dirt. Uh, loop, loop. Here we go. Gotta go this way. Ba -ba yes. Laptop hangs. That's funny. But hey, it, well, the laptop has to be functional, you nit. We're going back to the beginning to jump up. Advertising. Um, done that. That was, uh, that was pretty soul draining. I definitely have done that. The internet calls it hype, but, um, uh, whatever it's called, um, it's excitement. Excitement translates to purchase intent. Oh crap! Bird night, bird night. Holy crap! He saw his dead bird and he he flipped out. That was crazy. Yep. Okay, we're going up. Why people re at me when I'm not um, overly enthused by uh, like? It was E3, then it was the, the game advertisements. P people know about the game advertisements, right? It happens like once a year. I mean, let me pull this up. Okay. Um, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. One, once a year, they do the game advertisements. And it's um, it, it, it's uh, by, by this guy. Yeah. He, he, he does, it, it, J Jeff Keighley's The Game Advertisements. Uh, I said, who cares about E3? E3 has been replaced by the game advertisements. That's what I'm trying to tell you. 
is uh, w- once a year they they get they they give out a uh, little award called Game of the Year, and they advertise a bunch of shit, right? But um, yeah, the Dorito Pope, uh, Jeff Keeley, uh, ha- has basically supplanted the idea of um, um, uh, of E3 for showing off the the new uh, advertisements. So uh, toward the end of the year. You get the what what's referred to as the game advertisements. You, you know where where no problem there. Don't worry about it. Mountain Dew Doritos. Yes, the there you go. Mm-hmm. Bethesda's route of making games. Are you concerned about Elder Scrolls Six? Oh, I've I've given up on uh, Elder Scrolls Six having a good story. I've given up on that. Like I I, I like. And and people are like, well, with Starfield, like, I, I already knew, I already knew, man. Go go check out my uh, Starfield video. It's on my YouTube channel. Yeah. The question is, will the game be fun, right? And I had fun with Starfield for two hundred and thirty-six hours. So. Yeah. The power of the woof! Woof power! Woof power! Okay. Yes. I'm sure that I will enjoy... Um... Whoop. Excellent. I will enjoy Elder Scrolls 6, but what people come to Elder Scrolls games for, what they come to Bethesda games for, they are most likely going to be disappointed. Alucard Shield, go! Oh. New Cyberpunk DLC worth playing? I haven't played it yet. I haven't played it. Playing with a gamepad? What are you talking about? I've been playing with a gamepad the whole time. 2D side-scrolling platformers, I always play with a gamepad. Come on. Um, no. Elder Scrolls Castles, yeah, it's funny. I said, uh, um, oh, you're you're talking about the new Castlevania show. It's 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 pretty good popcorn f- uh, food. You know, if you don't care too much about Castlevania, it's kind of like the Halo show. The Halo show was a pretty good uh, show if you didn't care about Halo. That that uh, like the the Death Note uh, movie was pretty good if you don't care about Death Note. Like all of all new media that is made as adaptations are pretty decent if you don't give a shit about the source material. Yep. I haven't seen the One Piece uh, thing yet. Yep. Wow. But yeah, I have long since made peace a long time ago. We're talking like 10 years ago. I have made peace with the idea that when someone makes an adaptation, be it like a a cartoon or a, a live action, whatever, of a material that I like, that it's probably going to be bad and not faithful. And so outside of like, one comment I'll make at the beginning to my wife, where I I tell her, "Hey, hey this is this isn't like how the original went." I I I just snip snip. Don't give a shit about it anymore. That's it. Done. Holy mail. Yeah. 
We're going. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm done. I checked everything out. Conversation over. <laughs> what are you doing? You're supposed to die. There we go. Duck. Hey, 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 hey. Cool. So we can do that. I can throw a shit ton of daggers. Mm -hmm. It would be nice to see new material. It really would. Well, it's because all these companies are risk adverse. They're terrified of losing a lot of money on a, you know, unfounded product. So they slap a label on and the real problem, the real problem is that they then hire people based on nepotism. They aren't picking someone with a genuine passion for the original product. They are picking someone who has aspirations all their own. Who, who wants, who, um, who is deep, deep down, these people are resentful that they can't just make their own product, that it, but then they have to, like, ride on the coattails of someone else's name, right? They, they're resentful about it, but they know it's the only way they're going to succeed, so they, uh, uh, they they wrap their own ideas, their own artistic vision up inside of a, uh, a you know a, a name that they know will sell. Yep. Yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna leave that one out there. Ba -ba okay. Yeah, that's a, that's a, um, that's a conversation for a, another year there. Yeah. Where am I in the game? I just recently got the, uh, I, I, I killed, uh, Richter Belmont and got the bad ending of the video game. Um, yeah. Yeah. This is literally 1984. New speak only. All right. Uh, what was I saying? I need to descend into the depths. Okay. Goodbye. Okay. I, I tried, man. I, I tried just deleting your comments, but you. You had to say it. Okay. Now, let's uh, focus on how to get to the basement. It looks like there's a path right here that leads to the basement. I need to get back there. So, we need to go down to the uh, fast travel machine. And then take it up to this corner here. And then we'll uh, be able to make our way around. Yes. No, we've got more to do. We can't get to the inverted castle yet. We have to we have to get the the holy glasses and to get the holy glasses we have to go and um mm, what you call it um whoop. Sorry. Um distractions are plenty. Uh, I'm going to be heading on over to, um, to the other section here. Very good, very good. Yeah, I like Symphony of the Night a lot. I would say my favorite game in the franchise is, you know, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night or uh, <laughs> uh, Curse of Darkness is also really good. We'll play Curse of Darkness when we're closer to Halloween. We got to go down. We, we got we to gotta find a way to descend into the depths of... Uh, this place. Let's figure it out. Mm-hmm. Spike breaker, yes. 
Bike breaker is something we need. This is true. Wait, hold on. Yeah. We need the spike breaker to find Maria, who has the holy glasses. Yeah. I remember all of this kind of, sort of, a, li a little, little bit, li little teeny tiny bit. Away we go. Let's... That's, that's not it. Um. Yeah, we just got to keep going across. We got got to go down. Got to go down further. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. Do you hear the post game audio? No. Uh, once once the muse once the credits start playing, uh, we're gonna have to mute it because this has uh, copyrights um, copyright infringing music. Yes. Mm. I have I have the uh, I have the echo back. I I I got the echo back right here. Look. Uh, whoop, no, that's just not it. There it is. You see, I, I got, I got the, I got the sea and darkness echo bat power. So yeah. Alucard and Maria get together if you do the uh, good ending, yeah. Otherwise, um, otherwise Richter and um, Richter and Maria will stay together. But otherwise, uh, uh, Richter will be like, "Don't you want to go after him?" And uh, they'll, they'll be there's a split based on the ending you got. It'll either be no, he needs to stay. Uh, he has his own things to do, or uh, perhaps you can save his soul. And it, it just depends on the um, depends on the ending. So I don't, I don't know. There are multiple endings to this game. Yep. Okay, let's figure out where we are. Yeah, we just gotta find a way down in the next room. This, this, right here. We have to find a way down. Hmm. I think we gotta go up to go down. I think there's a uh, room this way. Fuck. It hurts, make it stop. That's it, that opened the doors. We can go down now. Awesome. Yes. Shaft has been a Muppet in Rondo as well. Phantom pixel for 200% clear? No. I, I do not care about that. The library card and attack potions are mine. Uh, the game volume is loud? I, I don't know. Hmm. It, it isn't really. Like, I'm looking at the graph here. Hold on. Uh, let me, let me go. Lo. Okay. Um, th this is what we're looking at right here regarding uh, audio. If we pull this up. You can see right here the the microphone is in the, is in the yellow approaching the red, right? And if it hits into the red, it starts making clippy bad noises, so we don't let that happen. But um, otherwise, um, yep. Am I hearing echoes of the stream? I don't know. This is kind of weird. Do you have multiples open? Yeah. Weird. Anyway, uh, let me just close that up. Dorito Pope, very important. Uh, uh, hold on a second. Whoa! What the hell is this? On oh, so someone linked a thing. Uh, uh, oh no! <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that's 
that's pretty funny. <clears throat> but yeah, let me let me pull up the uh, the thing here. Hold on, uh, it should be that one. Yes, there there you go. <laughs> All right. For thy kingdom is EA, the Activision, and the Ubisoft. Forever and ever, video games journalism. <laughs> All right. You want a game based on the events of 1999 Demon Castle Wars? Yes. Where we literally have soldiers gunning down demons and getting killed and raised as zombies. That, that and, you know, like, tanks and jets and shit getting shot down by, uh, or, or blown up by, what do you call them, uh, the other kinds of demons. That'd be pretty fancy. Alright. Well, down we go. We're going to the depths. I'm actually fine with the March of Time pass, uh, going forward because I... Outside of, like, Warcraft 3 being ruined by Warcraft 3 Reforged, almost all old media I still have access to, and I can disregard new media. So, for example, if I wanted to enjoy some uh, Star Trek Deep Space Nine, I don't have to acknowledge Discovery. Likewise, if I want to uh, enjoy, say, um, The Empire Strikes Back, I don't have to acknowledge Disney Star Wars. Uh, like, I, I have the wealth of my lifetime of media that I can take in and enjoy without having to necessarily acknowledge or even pay attention, at all pay attention to the newer shit that has uh, gone so horribly wrong. And these days, with the indie space, I'm getting more and more games that I like that are... Um, Enterprise is underrated. I didn't like Enterprise when it first came out. I, I thought it was shit. I, I had to rewatch it like three years later in order for to actually gain an appreciation for it. It was more than three years later. It, it was it was a while later, but yeah, yeah, I, I like Enterprise. It's just I didn't when it first came out. It, it, there there was something about it that was a little off. Um, but I I went back and I rewatched it, and it turned out to be a lot better than I expected. Yeah. Um, let me see here. All I'm saying is that with the indie space right now, I'm getting a shit ton of, like, spiritual successors and, and remakes and shit. Uh, not remakes, but, uh, yeah, spiritual successors to old games that I liked. Uh, classic Zelda games being created by indies. Yes, Solaris Engine, you mean. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. uh yeah, the, the, like, if you like classic Zelda, the Solaris Engine is making... Uh, like new classic Zelda games. Uh, if you you're interested in like, if, if, say you wanted Bloodborne Zelda, Yarn Town's got you covered. Okay, if you wanted um some more like classic uh Zelda, you know, like uh there there are like Zelda Legends Book of Medora, uh, which is linked to the past again, but different. If you wanted um like an actual straight up Zelda like that's uh, on the Switch, that's Ocean's Heart. Like th this is this is on Switch right now, and it's made in the Solaris engine, so um that you know it it is straight up a uh, a Link's Awakening style game. I'm just saying, like if you are um if you are at all um like a fan of classic Zelda, there is there are more classic Zeldas being made, but in the Solaris engine right now, which is the, the a quote unquote classic Zelda engine that's open source. So it's pretty, pretty damn good. Uh, let me say here. Ba -ba -ba. Okay. Anyway, um, let me. So as far as space games go, I'm waiting for Under Space because it's a, uh, it's a spiritual successor to Freelancer, right? And as far as like Morrowind uh, slash Skyrim style games, I'm waiting for Ardenfall to come out. Now, Ardenfall um, has a playable demo. Like, you can play this right now. 
And, you know, like, I, I've never really been a stickler for graphics. That, that, that has never bugged me. So, like, the fact that they're using a very light art style, you know, for their game, that that's fine by me. But uh, this is basically a... Um, this is inspired by uh, Morrowind, Skyrim, and then the faction systems inspired by New Vegas. So, um... Y you know, the point is that uh, there there are games being made right now that I'm excited about. Um, yeah, the, the here I'll link the uh, the playable demo there. It's it's on the Steam page. Uh, Escape Velocity. I don't think so. Let me look it up. Well, let me look. Um, let me look it up. Uh, the answer is no. I've not played Escape Velocity, although this looks suspiciously like Star Control. <laughs> Uh, like, at least the screenshots do. Uh, no, this is different. Huh. Okay, then. Is it using the OpenMW engine? No, no, it's its own... Uh, uh, oh, hold on. I don't know what it's doing in there. Oh. oh um, I, I'm, I'm, mother, the wife just sent me a picture of the cats doing a thing. So I'm like, oh, wow. The cats have occupied the couch. There will be no couch sitting for me, apparently. Assuming I wanted to end the stream right now. Um, yeah, the couch is now occupied. What a shame. All right, I got, I got to stop talking about other games. I want to play this game for now. Man. I should really, really sit down and play Dino Crisis again. I, I haven't played it since it was new, so it's like... That, that's It's kind of like Rondo. Remember when I was struggling through Rondo the other day? Like I hadn't played Rondo since it was new, so it'd be it'd be the same thing for like Dino Crisis. I haven't touched that in ages, so I I, I would it'd be practically brand new for me. Yeah, yeah. I I I haven't touched Dino Crisis since it was new. I, again, like Time Splitters, I I never finished Time Splitters either. I only play I played it a little bit when it was new, and then um, and that was it. Like. I haven't touched it otherwise, so yeah, yeah. Dino Crisis and Time Splitters would both be games that I could play practically and be practically blind to the game because I only have vague impressions of how it was when I originally played it. Yeah. Okay. Ba -ba bum. Mm-hmm. How'd you play Rondo back in the day? Oh, uh, 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 Dretch. It's called, uh, <clears throat> it's called a, uh, a modded console that a friend had. And, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's great. It's, uh, never owned it myself. Just, uh, like, oh, here, here's, here's a bunch of imported games. I'm like, shit, these are cool. It, you know, it's mod chips and shit. <laughs> so, yep. I, I never owned any of them. I, I was the guy coming over going, wow, that shit is awesome. Yeah. So I, I was not privy at the time. At the time, I was not privy to how... They got it working. They just showed me, and it's like, oh shit, this is this is cool. Japanese things are rare as gold. Yeah, there there was actually a uh, there was a place where people would end up uh, turning in a lot of um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, give me a sec. Someone uh, posted a thing. I'm gonna really quick just uh, go uh, copy link. I need to really do that there, yes. And let me see. Um, we got a whole channel for that. And then I'm just uh, linking it there. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> I, uh... What are we doing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Grew up in California. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the uh, the greater Los Angeles area. Oh, boy.
Yeah, my wife and I were one block away from each other uh, growing up. We used to hang out and play Mario Kart, like the, the original uh, Super Mario Kart. It was brand new. So, so these days, uh, we, uh, we play the uh, Switch version of Mario Kart. Nothing has ever changed. <laughs> uh, a lot has changed, but uh, that's a different matter. Do I follow college football at all? No. Um, our family is pretty big into the NFL, but um, can't say I really follow any sports personally outside of that. Uh, when I was in California, I uh, paid a lot of attention to the, um, uh, whatchamacallit, um, the basketball, because I used to play basketball back in school. I am 6'5", uh, so um, I am definitely out of shape now, but uh, I, um, our, um, uh, the, 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 the local basketball teams were all uh, short people, which was hilarious. So, uh, being 6'5 was uh, a, a, a quote-unquote tall person. All right, I, I gotta focus now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on, I, got, I gotta pay more attention to this. Hold on. Okay. Um, wait, this doesn't make sense. Mm, hold on. I'd say the most annoying part. I, I need to figure this out. What is this doing here? Just, I know there's a, a like a hidden path around here. It's it's a succubus fight, isn't it? Come on, some someone who knows this game, help me out here. The, like the, this this section, because if we fall all the way down, we end up in the water area, right? But it isn't like in this middle area the succubus fight? Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, I was uh, forward. Uh, fuck, bat form to get it? Seems odd. Hold on, I'm gonna go back up. I said back up! But yeah, I, I kind of followed local... Sorry. Um, I followed local basketball in California for no other reason than I played this game, therefore I can relate. You know? She's in a save casket. Yes. Okay, thank you. It's starting to come back. I, I, I thought one of these walls like crumbles or something. Like Lakers and Clippers eggs exactly. Exactly like Lakers and Clippers. Whoa, fuck! out of California, you're in a happier place? Yes. Absolutely. I left because of, uh, for business reasons. This is it, I think. Maybe. Let's save just in case. Save file three. No. Wouldn't have saved if that were the case. Nope, nope, nope. But, uh, the people are generally nicer here. 
in uh, Colorado. Mm -hmm. Well, fuck, fuck. Are they making you still pay taxes? For the first year, yes. For the first year, I had to pay, uh, like, dual taxes in both, uh, both states. Gotta focus. This is, this does seem like uh, where I was. Um, you also, if you do business in California at all, you do have to pay uh, tax on the business you did in California. It's kind of nuts, and I don't really want to talk about it right now since I have uh, some bad memories wrapped up in that bullshit. But yeah. Yeah, my family has completely moved over. At least my immediate family. Meal tickets. Real estate is bananas, but we got all that squared away at this point. Oh yeah, that, this is the succubus one. Okay, checking the other side. Yep, this is the real, okay. We're set. We're gonna go do the succubus encounter. Yep. Okay. Shoot. Before we do anything else, we're gonna make a solid save here. Let's go. Airbnb is getting regulated. They're they're having some trouble. Mother! Alucard, is that you? I'm coming, Mother! I'll save you! No, Alucard! Stay away! Mother! It's all right. If my death can save others, I gladly surrender my life. No! I won't let this happen! It's too late. Just stay with me. Hear my last words to you. Yes, mother. Humans. You cannot live with them. You can only hate them. Do them harm. What? Theirs is such a hard lot. Release them from their pain. Begin with the ones who killed me. No. It wasn't like this. Alucard, what's wrong? My mother never said such a thing. What do you mean? I am your mother. Do as I say. Release them. Kill them. No. You are not my mother. What kind of demon are you? <laughs> Strong enough to break my spell, hmm? I like that. You deserve worse than death for this demon. Then give it to me, little boy. Don't be shy. Here we go. Whoops. Fuck. Okay. That hurt a bit. Go, go, go! Fuck. No. Bad. Got it. Uh, oh, really? Okay. She dead. Combo. Darkling, I smell your blood, your hunger. That strength, that beauty. You really are the son of Lord Dracula. Death in the dream world will set your soul wandering for eternity, demon. Wait! I beg of you! No! 
Bye. We did it! We got a gold ring. That's it. We've defeated the Succubee. It's done. Yeah. <laughs> the shield rod does a lot of things with different shields. It's true. Okay. Glad we got that out of the way. Very good. Up, up, and away. This cannot be. Ah! Okay. Which way are we going? Blue curtain, indeed. No. The later version? Yes. We're definitely running a later version. Lords of Shadow? The original Lords of Shadow is a great um, God of War game that's Castlevania skinned. Uh, sadly, Lords of Shadow Mirror of Fate is a worse version of classic Castlevania, and Lords of Shadow 2 is an abomination that should have never existed. Yep. Down we go. This way. If you kill her, she can drop an ice cream cone. Not always, but sometimes. Ow. I don't know what that noise is, and I hate it. I can't go this way. Fuck, it hurts. Okay. Bob. Please check the video description. Thank you very much. Uh, gonna make a save here. Bamp. And here we go. Oh no. Oh no. Ice cream cone is a healing item, yeah. Here we go, real boss. That's right. <laughs> Shield Rod. Most fun ever. Aha, uh -huh, the Crystal Cloak. It's time to upgrade our cloth cape we got at the very beginning of the game with this one that increases our constitution slightly and our defense slightly. Yes, indeedy. It's also mostly invisible. The cloak is really strange. It's fine. Eh, we gotta go back now. We got things to do. I'm gonna start with this side. Sword. Scimitar. That ain't, that ain't right. That ain't right. How about this one? Speedy Doge. Go. Wait. I said, I said go, go, go Doge speed. Doge speed. Yes. And our health is not going down. Okay then. This is fine. Mm -hmm. Crystal into cloth. I think you just kind of uh, embedded it. I don't think that the the actual I don't think the cloth is made of crystal. I think there's crystal in uh, the little crystals embroidered. Whoa. What's, what's this? This area feels off. I'm gonna go down here first. Ow. Freaking frogs. 
Okay, so here's the deal. Ba -ba. Are YouTube tutorials a good way to learn to fix your car? <laughs> I would say that YouTube tutorials are a good way to learn the basics about anything. But um there might be there might be like do's and don'ts you need to look up separately before you get started. That's um pretty important. Like you need to be ex oh, look at these guys. See these guys right here? We're going to drown them. Check this shit out. It's a set pace. Plug the leak. Okay. The talky mushroom. Which way? Don't know what we're doing. Ow, it hurts. Stop with the water. I don't know what we're gonna be doing. Okay. There is a way to break this bridge instantly by having, uh, by like pressing down on the second controller or something. And this bridge will just instantly break and speedrunners do that all the time. It's a, um, it's a test. Uh, said buy a manual for your vehicle. You'd be surprised. Like the owner's manuals for a bunch of uh, cars all say like this, this, what happens when this light appears? Take to your dealership. What about this light? Take to your dealership. What about this light? Take to your dealership. I, I have a manual for an old car, which is an actual, like, really thick manual that actually tells you how to do things. But modern manuals are just, take to your dealership. What about this light? Take to your dealership. Get the service manual, yes. I'm gonna get that. Instagram. Get a service manual, yes. I'm just saying it's funny to look at old manuals that actually tell you things versus uh, new ones where it's like, yeah. Go. Secret boots. Oh no. That's health up. Damn right. New, new manuals be like a thousand four hundred pages. I mean, that's kind of part of the cost of getting a, he a piece of heavy equipment, which is what a car is. It's going to be interesting uh, when John Deere has to actually provide documentation to people. Hmm. Let's see what else we got over here. Shiitake mushroom. What is this? Max life up. Did it. Oops. Hey there. Welcome aboard, O oh Prince. Shall I guide thee across the river? Yes. Thank you. But please do. The bats do not like me. The bats want to take me uh, off of this wild ride. Damn. Crazy. We're going against the current, or work. Okay. What are we finding over here? Oh, yes. The merman statue. So this thing is pretty cool. We don't take damage 
in uh, summons the oarsman? What? But oh, we're still we're still taking damage from water. Hmm, not yet. Oh well, I I guess that's one. I guess. Oh, not sure then. Well, I can summon the oarsman. Where? Hmm. I thought that was gonna be the don't take damage from water talisman. I don't know where the proper talisman is then. I'm confused. Don't know. It's gonna be interesting to see. Oh, I know where it is at the very beginning of this place. I know what this is. Uh, by the way, we just got uh, a special item. Check this out. Uh, if we go wait, first of all, secret boots. Yeah, discreetly increases height. You bet. What else? Uh, moonstone improves stats after summer uh, sunset. Improves healing item power. MP restoration rate. Thank you. But more importantly, check this shit out. Uh, behold the ice cream. Three layer ice cream. Incredible. Not that way. <laughs> Gotta keep going. Is that a shiitake mushroom? No, it's a toadstool. Never mind that. There we go. There's a shiitake mushroom. Fuck. We're going for it. I think. I think we're going for it. I actually don't know where we're going. Great. Up, up, and away. I need to do this right. Not quite. Hooray. They're teaching us. Something appeared at the wooden bridge. It's the guys that throw barrels. We did it. Let's have a look at this uh, magic shield here. The Herald Shield. What does the Herald Shield do? Oh, my, yes. Okay, protection from fire, thunder, and and frost. Okay. So fire, uh, we, we get elemental resistance from the uh, sexy, armored, naked lady. Um, yeah, it, like, I don't think there's anything better in this world than uh, armor that is just literally accessories and not actually covering the main body. All right, let's go. Yep. Damn it. Cigar? No. No, I don't smoke. My lungs are already bad enough. Okay. Fucking hell. Frogs. Okay. Run! No! Goddamn frogs. Okay. What we need to do is convince that skeleton to come back. Which we have to go to the other area there. We have to kill the frogs. Okay. Run! We, we have to convince it to break this. To 
convince this guy to come on over to the bridge. Mm -hmm. Max heart up. Fuck. Max life up. Where's this go? A new area. Abandoned pit catacombs. We'll go, we'll go after that later. Mm -hmm. This way. Gotta go all the way back. Fuck. Back to whatever. Do they make you deal with water a lot before they give you immunity to, to water damage? Yeah. How much uh, money in magic power did this castle cost? I don't know. Considering the castle is generated by uh, the power of hell, you'll just have to m make the calculations yourself as to how much money in magic energy it, it costs to make. The answer is it cost him no money at all. He killed he killed a shit ton of people and sacrificed their lives. That that's what he did. Yes. You know all the people impaled on spikes. Death serves the master of the Crimson Stone, who happens to be Dracula, because Dracula fused with the Crimson Stone. Thy destiny awaits, O oh Prince. The vampire Walter was a kind of a proto-Dracula, and uh, he was completely devoured by uh, the uh, the modern uh, uh, whoop person there. Whoa! This is bad. I'm gonna die. I got it just at the end. Yes. Why not be a bat? That requires thinking. We did it! The whole... The... That holy symbol was a snorkel. It was literally like a snorkel tube. And it says holy symbol. And it gives you immunity to water damage. Holy dive or something like that. I'm going in the water. I remember the, uh, the ridiculous, ridiculous thing you had to do. There are things in water. Yes, max life up. No, the history of uh, Dracula in, in the, the Castlevania franchise, his original name was Matthias. And he, uh, uh, he blamed God for having, uh, for his wife having been killed, so he decided to defy death and, uh, spite God forevermore. And to do that, he, uh, used the Crimson Stone to steal, uh, Walter's eternal life. And, uh, became, uh, uh I was gonna say, he wasn't known as Dracula back then. He, um, um, whoops. 
uh, he uh, eventually became known as Dracula later. Whoop. I can't tell you, um, well, I mean, yeah. First, there was Castlevania Legends for the Game Boy, but that was retconned by uh, uh, Castlevania Lament of Innocence, which had Matthias and Walter and all that. Yeah. Castlevania Legends was a uh, Game Boy game. I abused the shit out of save states for that one. Is Castlevania considered a Christian game like Doom? For the most uh, part, uh, that is pretty funny. Um, but yeah, I mean, it is hilarious. It's like, uh, what about it? You're murdering demons. You're taking the fight to hell. Sonia Belmont, yeah, she, she, she's got a uh, top quality leotard outfit. Absolutely. Don't shoot fire underwater. It's blue fire. That's how they get away with it. Yep. Ow. Water physics suck. In nunchucks. Go in. Okay. We remake Castlevania Adventure is great. Never heard of it. But I spent relatively little time with the Wii. Uh, I think uh, as far as Nintendo consoles go, after uh, the N64, I tended to focus more on, um, on PC games. And so it took a long time for me to circle back around to... Uh, to console games, you know, like the PlayStation and whatnot. But, um... I for, like... It, I'd say, like, the Game Boy, Game... Uh, not Game Boy, GameCube and, uh, and stuff. Uh, Wii U. Sorry, Wii, Wii U. Those, those games I, I played, but... Um... It took a while for me to get around to them, if I remember correctly. I, I, I could be misremembering at this point in time, because I'm kind of tired and... Uh, I need to drink more coffee, but, um, yeah. I am less, uh, less, I have been traditionally less into Nintendo after the N64 than other, uh, thingamabobbers. Oh, here we go. My bad. I didn't mean to use that. I mean, it's a nice picture, and I appreciate it, but I did not mean to use that. I meant to go grab the... Not a la carte shield. Where is it? Uh, iron shield. There it is. I just want to kill that thing. But the golden eye machine. I mean, yeah. Early 3D was kind of a mess, to be honest, when it came to uh, video games. Because they didn't really have the processing power to do 3D well. So there were compromises everywhere. The best N64 game was uh, by Rare. It was... Uh, Let me pull it up. Okay. Um, yep. Just setting it up now.
Killer Instinct? Yeah, Killer Instinct was a good game. Um, let me see here. Nope. Um, I, I looked it up, and I cannot play uh, the first track of Killer Cuts because it would be copyright infringement. Let me, uh, uh let's see. Let, let, let me pull up the, uh, the Slut Orchid, uh, song here and, uh, link it in the, um, the whatchamacallit, um, uh, that, that should do it. Should be, uh, that one right there. Let me, let me, uh, double check it. Copy link address. At Mystical Ninja starring Gomon was amazing as well. It's true. Uh, there you go. I, I linked it. it. It's a song that, um, uh, I, I cannot for various reasons play on stream, but, uh, there is a YouTube video with it regardless. Okay. But, uh, but yeah, GoldenEye was good. Um, you had another monitor? I have four. I have uh, one monitor in the middle, one to either side, and one up on the wall. And so I, I look up at the wall one there. Yep. When I uh, want to show something off or whatever. But I looked at it and I'm like, wait, that that is, uh, that, that is unfortunately going to get copyright claims instantly. Turok were good. Yeah, Turok was definitely good. The original Turok. The, the later Turoks had um, an, an identity crisis as to what they wanted to be. It's kind of strange, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm going to check out the other sections here. Hold on. We're not going to piss off that guy. Yep. Hold on. I'm going to check the water. Check in the water. Rock 2 had some issues as far as like its identity goes. Didn't really know what it wanted to be. Defend the energy totem at all costs. I mean, come on. Rogue Squadron was great, yep. Best Castlevania, depends on what you want. If Metroidvania at Symphony of the Night, if it's like a cas uh, classic Castlevania, probably Rondo of Blood. If it, you want the best one for a new player to get into, it'd be Super Castlevania 4 for the Super Nintendo. If you want one that I just love to death, then it's probably uh, Castlevania Curse of Darkness. But, uh, yeah. Shadows of the Empire was interesting, for sure. They said they got Doom 64 on the Microsoft Store for Xbox, but the best part is that the uh, the current version of Doom on Steam comes with Doom 64, like, kind of built in. It's kind of really cool. All right. I also like Brutal Doom 64 a lot. All, all I got of uh, StarCraft 64 was the image of, uh, you know, the, 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 the ghost that you played as. I, that, I saw, like, a couple screenshots, and that's it. I hear there's, like, a playable build around somewhere on the internet. And when I say playable, I mean that in, um, like, very big air quotes around the word playable because, you know... Oh, Bomberman 64 was delightful. Yeah. Hmm. I'm looking at where we need to go now. We've got... We got the Water Talisman. We've got... Where... The, oh, we got to go down to the previous area. Fuck. I, I know where we have to go. I'm just annoyed because, like... 
There are so many other areas we could go visit, potentially. Nova, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you, I just remember like the skin tight ghost um, outfit. That, that's about it. <laughs> Kerrigan was an interesting character. Um, everything else relating to StarCraft's uh, ghost characters, not so much. Mm. Yep. Oh, hello. I'm out of here. I know where to go. I know the way. It's that bridge I blew up. I don't know anything about Nova. Other than her appearance. Remember, uh, I noped out of StarCraft long before they uh, added, like, extra co-op missions and, and story stuff, right? Like, I, um, I very much, um, like, Wings of Liberty was trash storytelling-wise. Jim Raynor was the man who was going to kill Kerrigan someday. Maybe at an army ba ba uh, at his uh, back, maybe just alone. And then he ended up pining for her, you know, in the rewrite of uh, Wings of Li uh, for Wings of Liberty. He turned into he, he like th they completely butchered his character. So I, I just kind of looked at that and went, nope. StarCraft Two is functionally a better game than StarCraft One, as far as I've been able to tell in my very limited non-RTS player experience. However, um, story-wise, StarCraft 1 was fairly nuanced with no one character being entirely innocent, right? Everyone's hands were fairly dirty, including Rainer's, due to the shit he had to do to get to where he was. And then um, <clears throat> the, the writing got extremely simplified when StarCraft 2 came around. And it became good versus evil nonsense. Yep. I need to go check out the uh, this part here. Yeah. You know nothing other than Marines and Ghost Waifus. Yeah, okay. Again, so like, I, I can't tell you what they added. Fuck. Backing up, backing up, backing up. That was a boss. Um... I can't tell you anything about StarCraft after, um, I, I followed the expansion pack story via YouTube. I didn't actually play it, but I, I watched all the cutscenes and shit. So I know, uh, how they butcher the story even further going into it, like in, in the expansion packs. But after the, uh, after, uh, Legacy of the Void, I just stopped paying attention to StarCraft 2 entirely. So any kind of add-on campaigns or extra characters or anything that they developed later, I know nothing about. So when I talk about, like, the Nova character, I meant, like, how she looked in the screenshots of StarCraft Ghost. That's it. <laughs> that is the beginning and the end of my knowledge regarding that. I would say my favorite uh, RTS-ish game was a grand strategy game called Lords of the Realm 2, which um, when two units met, it went into an RTS battle, but otherwise it was grand strategy. Um, but I'm not, uh, I'm not really a huge fan of RTS. Um, if I had to pick some RTSs that I had fun with in the past, keep in mind I played all of them for uh, co-op, uh, not co-op, uh, uh, campaigns. I didn't really care about their multiplayer. Um, Dune 2000 and um, Command and Conquer Tiberian Sun were two games I really enjoyed for their campaigns. Doge time! Serberino! Fucking hell, it hurts! Yeah. 
Here we go. Do it again. Lords of the Realm was hard, yes. Absolutely. But there was enough diversity of mechanics to the point where I absolutely positively felt rewarded for learning its systems. Give me a second here. Blam. Doge dead. Now we're in the underhalls. That switch can only be hit by an imp familiar. Yes. I'm gonna go check out the other room now. I just noticed how weird this is. So that's a, that's a boss room, right? I need to check this. I get a decent amount of hearts from this as well. I just save point. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Save points are good. Yep. Yep. Give me the axe. There we go. Moving along. Back to the sewers. Ghosts. Stop it. Spirits. Ow, it hurts. They get staggered, so you can interrupt their nonsense. Do you think the market has a lack of RTSs? Demand for new RTSs isn't that huge. Like, a lot of the people who are hardcore into RTS just play the old ones. They aren't, uh, they aren't really, um, like, if someone is kind of obsessed with RTS, then they've already got a wealth of games and they aren't really looking for new ones so much. I think, uh, I do think that um, there's a Blizzard spin-off studio. Uh, these are Blizzard employees who left the company. They are working on RTS and they're trying to prove that sentiment wrong, right? The idea that there's no market for new RTS. Um, there are people who literally want to prove that sentiment wrong. And show that um, there is, in fact, big market for RTS, right? But um, that is a uh, contentious point in the games industry. The idea of these quote-unquote dead genres, ones that will not make enough money. Um, um, like, to, to justify, like, big purchase and big ad buys. Keep in mind something, like people aren't, like these companies aren't just looking at the idea of um, of uh, development costs. They're also looking at the cost of marketing and distribution, especially marketing, right? And they're just looking at the whole situation and going, this isn't gonna make us enough money when we could be putting like human resources into something else. Yep. Got him. Yeah, I'm not saying that uh, RTS aren't worth making. I'm just saying that the uh, the prevailing sentiment in the games industry is that uh, they won't get big returns on their investment, and RTS is fairly resistant to. Uh... Oh, we got the demon card. Cool. Um, what was I saying though? The RTS is resistant to the injection of pay-to-win elements, right? And uh, RNG-based elements, gambling systems. The things that would make big money now. Um, because RTS is resistant to that... I'm going to turn on the demon card. Um, the uh, That is not the direction they want to go. We got a devil familiar now. We're gonna go up to the corner here. 
yeah, the, the only reason why um, City Skylines is doing as well as it is is because Paradox knows they can sell tons and tons of DLC for it. That's why City Builders uh, have reached the state they're in right now. Hold on. There's a switch. Perhaps I should press it. It's the Paradox DLC model that's really uh, letting City Builders come back. Because um, EA destroyed the, the SimCity franchise. Damn. That is definitely a something. She's got long range attacks. Here we go. That hurt a lot. Heart refresh. Oh. Restores 500 hearts when you use it. Crazy. Sim ant was fun, yes. Can take control of the yellow ant and use it to guide the uh, rest of the black ants to victory over the red ants. Also, uh, put a whole uh, ca cap their uh, entrance and watch them die. <laughs> I remember that shit. What's the 24 ring? What's the 24 ring? Oh. Confers the strength of 24 men. Okay. This is this is fine. Turkey. Peanuts. Eh. Okay, so we just got we just got four packages of peanuts, uh, some uh, some alcohol, and the power of sire. That's great. Okay. Ow. Fuck. Magical girl must die. No delays. Level up. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Duplicator bug. Yes. New cement where you can pick your species. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. I like the big mode where you uh, help out the, um, uh, where you take over the house, like sector by sector. But the idea is that the red ants are naturally stronger than the black ants, so you need to, through strategy, guide them to victory. That's the, the point of Sim Ant. Is you take a uh, a com like a combat oriented. Um, an, an inferior species from a combat perspective and lead them to victory over, you know, a superior combat-oriented species through strategy. Like, in, in a one-on-one -on -one battle, a red ant will beat a black ant, assuming they are, like, they, they have equal amounts health and uh, hunger condition. So that's why, again, strategy. Hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, the thing is, the red ants require more food. You say inferior beings, but I'm just talking about from a combat perspective. Because the red ants get hungrier faster because their metabolisms are you know, higher because they are stronger, right? They're, they're, they're bulkier. And as a result, uh, you have to, uh, like you can starve them out as a strategy. One of many possible strategies. All right, let me uh, really quick go over here, save the game. 
like Dwarf Fortress a lot, and I don't care about whether a game is uh, pretty or ugly. Um, they, I have an issue with verticality. And, um... What do you call it? Um... Hey, 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 hey. Whoa, whoa! Um... Like, being able to see something on a higher or a lower, uh, vertical level than you in Dwarf Fortress is a pain. You have to keep, like, switching your view. That That is an issue that I have to overcome every time I want to sit and play it. Um... Sim Tower, ne I never actually played, but Sim Earth is vastly complicated <laughs> compared to the other Sim games out there. <laughs> Like, Sim, Sim Earth is way more complicated. Mm, yes, let's go. I know that's a, that's a teleport, uh, path. Okay. Uh, no idea what that means, Andrew. There are many words to which I do not have the definition, so I shrug and go, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Okay, we gotta go grab that shiitake mushroom. Yay, yay, they say. Mm -hmm. Door Fortress on Steam? Uh, on stream? Live stream? No. I've not done that. Looking around. No, nothing. This way. Magic claw. The catacombs. <clears throat> Magic claw. Whoops. Hit the wrong button. Okay. Um. I'm noticing a distinct lack of my ability to uh, continue this. Very strange. There we go. You know what I want to play again? Shogo. Shogo was a fun game. Shogo Mo Mobile Armor Division. It is the definition of a weeb game, though. Because it's... Uh, it's an anime-inspired, western-made thing. And, uh, yeah. It is, uh, very, very strange. it around the same time I was playing Half-Life. The original Half-Life, I mean. Or should I say Half-Life mods? Reminds you of Oni? Yeah. Yeah, it's it, that it's same idea of, uh... But, is this the area where Gallimoth is, or is it the Inverted Castle version? I, th I think it's the Inverted Castle version. Oh, well. Well, do not suffer this thing to live. Okay. Yeah, but by the time you reach Gallimoth, you should have the Alucard shield from the waterways. And, uh, that's it. Game over. Okay, let's make a save here. And, uh, let's, let's go die. Uh. Yep. We did it! There are spikes there. How'd you, how'd you know? Yeah. 
where we got the uh, thing. We're going to grab the Spike Breaker Mail in just a second, I'm pretty sure. Whoops. Shurikens. Coins. No, stop it. Use the bat familiar while being a bat. So they, oh god, it's an alien xenomorph skeleton. Should have known. Unless animated by magic, no skulls should be able to uh, keep their uh, jawbone on. Their jawbone is connected, like, jaw, humans' jawbones are connected by cartilage, so. Unless they're, like, bolted on, or, um,. What do you call it? Uh, they're, they're magic dawn. They should just kind of fall apart. Like the jaw should fall off. I uh, said, uh, what does Aria of Sorrow do better? Oh, it's a power system. It's uh, killing enemies and stealing their powers and mixing and matching those powers. That's uh, like It's not that it's a better game. It's that I like it more. Because of the power system. Bike Breaker! Damn. I played the original Dark Five, but not two. I think. Pretty sure I have the CD for two. Whoop. Ow, it hurts. Make it stop. The fairy uh, sits on your shoulder and falls when you move. That's funny. Oh, no. Bikes don't bother me anymore. Aha. Uh -huh. Awesome. Bike breaker, chest pace. Okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to save the game since our life is very low. Very he low health. How do you kill that which has no life? I have no idea. Ow, it hurts. Fuck, I'm, I'm low on health. I'm going to die. Wow. Uh, about that. I'm actually very scared now. You know what? Fuck this. There's no reason for us to go back. We will, in place of our shield rod, we will equip... I, I know we can equip something. It should be... The library card! I, I The soul steel command is too complex for me. I, I am a dumb dumb and cannot uh, cannot comprehend the back forward then like semi hadoken then back for forward back button press combo. It it, it it does not work for me. Uh, I I've seen it. I I can I can look at I can stare at the button combination while attempting to press those buttons. But they do not work for me. So instead, library card. Just eat turkey. We we do have turkey. But I'd rather go back over here. Now that we have the spike breaker and we can go other places. Your master card. How may I serve you? Hello there. Uh yes. Really? That's the enemy list? What about tactics? Oh, let's let's learn how we're supposed to kill the succubi. Yes. Uh we're, we're gonna figure out how we're supposed to kill the succubi. Get ready. This is a video. Okay, here we go. Why 
didn't you attack wrong? This is not optimal. You're atta you attacked wrong a couple times. You have failed opportunities to attack. This is terrible. Screw this. I was expecting to see some kind of uh, superior tactics, and instead, I saw bullshit. Yes. How about this? Indeed. Ring with holy powers. Magic scrolls contain summon spirit and wing smash. Elven cloak. I want the diamond plate, please. Thanks. No, not happening. Got it. No diamond plate for me. Okay. Dark metamorphoses. We're gonna need a sword for that. Ow. Well, let's go. Books break. Damn. Fuck. There goes my life. I am dead. Am I? One. Two. What do in terms of the map? I want to see what's in those regions I did not see before, so. Up, up, and away. Well, not that way. Okay. Hmm, this feels off. There's a path further up that I have not gone to. Let's give it a try. Whoops. Try again. Ow. That didn't work. Try again. I see. Anti-venom potion and a fairy card. The fairies use your own potions, right? I think so. Well, thank you for the two dollar, uh, Andrew. Oh boy. Gotta keep going. No. Definitely not that way. Five health. Next hit, and I'm dead. What a shame. Oh, yeah, my uh, familiar killed it. That's pretty cool. This way! Okay. Here we go! We need to switch weapons to a bladed weapon. Can I sword by damage, please? Thanks. Doesn't matter. Uh, Dark metamorphosis. Dark metamorphosis. We did it. 21 health. That's what I'm talking about. Dark metamorphosis. Dark metamorphosis. Damn. I had no idea it would come to this. There we go. Yeah, a lot of people have been talking about Sea of Stars. I, uh, alas, do not have it on the docket to play soon. I've got a lot of other things I have to focus on. And yet I've made time for Castlevania because it's what I do in October. Probably gonna play Gunvolt uh, 3 again on Christmas though, because that's, assuming I don't have family here on Christmas, of course, because, you know, different issues, but, um, what do you call it? Um, Gunvolt 3 is literally a Christmas story, turns out. I'm looking at this going... 
crazy. Uh, yeah, let's go all the way to the top. Fuck it. Elevator, take me there. We're going to the top. All the way up. No, keep going. Okay. We are currently at a teleporter, but if we go a little further up, we will be able to reach the, uh, the save point. Yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That is the save room. Excellent. All right, let's go uh, meet with Maria and get those holy glasses. We're almost there. We got to use the spike breakers to meet Maria. And then she'll be down in, uh, whatchamacallit, let's out? Do we have to fight her in this version? I think we do. I think we have to fight her in this version. Doesn't matter. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, go down to the teleport chamber. It'll get us a little closer to where we need to go. Because we're on the opposite end of the castle from where we need to meet Maria. For the first time. Then, then we gotta meet her again a second time. Or she'll give us the holy glasses. Fuck! Gotta go up. Doesn't matter. The sword's pretty good. Plans got screwed up. That's unfortunate, but uh, hang in there. We're here. It's just the claymore. I needed a bladed weapon to use dark metamorphosis. It needs to be a cutting weapon. Blunt weapons don't make the enemy spray blood. Therefore, dark metamorphosis doesn't work. Gotta keep going. I guess. This one will do. Yeah. Orox's quarters. We're going up. Yep. In the, uh... In the Genesis game, uh... What do you call it? Um... Not Genesis. So uh, the PlayStation version, you don't have to fight her for the uh, thing. Hmm. Where where do you get that, Dretch? I'm sure you of all people would know, you Castlevania fanatic. That's not a bad thing, by the way. It's high praise when it comes to the fact that we're you know playing the the Castlevania games this month. <laughs> All right. Let's go. I'm going down this way to try to, like, map out this section. Oh, there's another section over here. Hold on. Let's go check that out first. Yeah, for the most part, I, uh, I'm just going to be crutching on... The Whoa, summon sword. <laughs> I know what I'm using. Familiars, sword familiar. The fairy's cute, but she isn't like as good as the fairy in uh, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. I like that fairy more, to be honest. Oh, oh. Okay, sword though. Sword, sword, sword. Uh, the under relics, and then we turn off the demon card, turn on the sword card. Yep. <laughs> That still sucks that you can't uh, save those guys. At least try to save them. Being able to fail at the attempt and realizing that they're irredeemably corrupted would be uh, a good a good twist. I uh, have the punch equipped instead of the uh, attack. Yes. There we go. That's better. Hold on. Look 
can't the map. Helps to have a map. Yeah, we almost got it. So this guy right here, the winged uh, man, pretty sure you end up uh, doing like a refight of him at some point. Flash. Good work, sword. Does the sword need to kill the target, or does it get EXP just by you killing things? 16 EX, uh, 18 EXP? 22. You, you get it. You can kill things. Okay. Cool. So I can just go around and do this. Yep, it gets EXP. Cool. I'm happy. No! X. X time is good. Horn blades in the reverse castle, upside down rocks quarters. Oh, okay. So in other words, I won't be touching it for a while. That ain't happening today. I definitely won't get that far into the reverse castle today. That just isn't on the docket. Okay. Whoop. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> mm, pain and suffering. We got it. Okay. Mist could pass. Let's uh, do a quick save there. You're thinking of the empowered version vinyl where you do damage to people. Maria! Alucard, have you seen Richter? There is a Belmont here. You were right about that. I knew it. Where is he? The one I saw was with the enemy. He called himself the lord of this castle. What? The... That's impossible. You're wrong. I have to go. Goodbye, Maria. All right, we got the silver ring. We need to equip that. Uh, yes. Silver ring. In room, where's the other one? There's, There's got to be another ring somewhere that is the other uh, part of this, yeah. I'm trying to remember what the other... Uh, the other ring there was um hmm. trying to remember i got the gold ring already huh. when did i do that where clock okay there we go then whoops let's get that strength of uh 24 men back thanks I guess we're going to the clock tower. Screw it. I don't know where else to go. So, uh, not clock tower, clock room. It's near the entrance of the game. To get there best, I suppose I'll drop down the middle here. Then we'll get to the travel room, which is down further. From here, we go across. This is not it. Fuck. I did not super jump under the library and get the item. I should probably do that at some point. Not doing that right now. Mm -hmm. My favorite consoles, the SNES? No. Um, hmm. I don't know. I don't know what my favorite console is. It's a very, like, 
I mean, the NES had a lot of memorable things. I, I, yeah, no, no. The SNES was the turning point, I think. Where um, we started getting games that are complicated enough, but still adhered to the older, more difficult style, you know? They weren't super simple like an NES game, but they, uh... Hmm... I guess, yeah, yeah. I, I, I guess we can say yeah, Super Nintendo is my favorite. Although, really, there's there's tons of games for everything. Game Boy Advance could literally play all the old Game Boy games backwards compatible. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there were some Game Boy Advance games that could take like days to beat. True. Oops. Fuck. <laughs> I was almost trapped in that thing. Okay. We're fine. I say as I do everything wrong. Render! Render? No, thank you. Render! Render unto Caesar? Yes. Okay. The Lion King. Here we go! That's a good way to get a bunch of hearts that I don't need. Cool. We're going up. Fuck. Didn't mean to do that. We gotta go down. Okay. Welcome to die. When in doubt, just keep doing it. Blades! I'm invulnerable. Your blade, can your finishing blade cannot hurt me. Hold on. Yeah. Go, go, go. This is it. Fast travel. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for the NES was something else. Terrifying. Okay. Keep going. I hope that uh, fandom dies out there. Um, uh, f the fandom, um, what do you call it, uh, website that hosts wikis. I hope enough large wikis move over and go do something else. Because fandom is just awful. And every uh, wiki that I look at that is hosted on it makes me sad. Alright, let's see here. People sending me shenanigans. Checking, uh, checking, checking. Ah, uh, yes. Th this was, in fact, the prequel to Battletoads. J just a heads up. Like, you may not know this, but, um... Like, um... Now, let me let me pull up the uh, primary characters real quick. So, uh, th th these are the people here who are all uh, related to this. Yes. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> now then, I'll be back in just a second. I have to step away and deal with something, but uh, we'll we'll be back uh, in just a moment. Okay.
Okay, so, uh, <clears throat> I have a bottle of li liquid sugar. Give me a second. There we go. Mm. Potion of uh, lesser diabetes, I don't know. Mm. Here, here's the brand name for you. There you go. All right, as I was saying, let's go. We are, uh, we're going down. Wait, further down. Yep, we can keep going. Just gotta drop down one level. Costco's uh, roastery chicken is... Yeah? Uh, no, no, those those are good. Those are good. The memes are on stream? Okay. I suppose. I suppose we can fix that. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and leave Maria up. And we'll move her... We're gonna, we're gonna remove Ouija right now. And we'll put Maria over here for the moment, just, uh, yeah, let's see, that something like that, there we go, that, that'll do it, um, hold on, we'll actually do that little, yeah, th there we go, that's better, okay, yep, that, that fixes it, the only thing you missed is I went down the elevator, and now we're desperately trying to get back, ow, it hurts, yeah, Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't look up. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. I think it was something like this there. Yeah. <laughs> That's better. Uh, jeez. <laughs> uh, no, uh, he was... Uh, th they were doing... Yeah, the, the, the Yandere Dev guy was doing the... Um, had had like a thing of Samus above him and he was looking up. Um I I have uh Tamamo shit here. Of course, um you know. That there uh how do I put this? I, I thankfully uh was not caught actually uh you know grooming a minor. That's uh that that's all Yandere Dev's claim to fame, okay? Like that that that's his his shit. So uh let's let's leave him out of this and uh and just keep playing our video games. Mm. Special person, yeah. <laughs> All right. Save game. We go. I mean, between Discord mods and Reddit mods and 4chan janitors, I, I, I mean, you have to look at the state of the world for a second. The, the sheer number of, uh, of people that exist that are, uh, yeah, um, let's just use the word oopsie. Oh no! We're going. Going. Scream. Why can't people just be normal?
I mean, considering Dracula has to resort to kidnapping girls and uh, using mind control, I would say uh, Dracula's probably one of the biggest incels ever to exist. And I don't think anyone actually wants to follow his cult of bullshit. He's just using his vampire uh, shenanigans to avoid being a normal human. Yeah. Dracula death, something like that, yes. Mm -hmm. I think he'd do well considering he's large and violent. Uh, either that or, you know, prison. I, I suppose that's why the Demon Castle Wars happened in 1999. I mean, when he doesn't... Uh, doesn't, uh, what do you call that, uh, s uh, agree to be arrested. There's, uh... We've worn the rings. That noise sucks. We did it. Um, hold on, it was... Uh, I, I think... Were, were you talking about... Uh, so, that's awful. Like, s someone... Uh, it, s someone just asked me to put this up. So I... I, I I will say, uh, I, I will say that I'm doing this at someone else's request. Do not read into this, okay? Ahem. With my name, you shall be Blackula. Blackula, the Black Avenger. There you go. I, I I showed that at someone else's request. It's, uh... Ugh. Mmm, okay. Let's go. Stay point! Well, wait, I want to go the other way first. Oh, it's, it's muted? It's not muted, it's just loud. It's just very loud. There we go. Yay. Nope, still too loud. You're gonna end like here. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Life up. That's good. <laughs> right. My goodness, you say still muted. I think you muted everything because it's not muted. Tell him. Tell him it's not muted. Let's go. Down we go. Yes. Let's go. Alucard? That voice. Maria? I'm sorry. You were right. He is with the enemy. Richter Belmont, in league with Dracula. He must be under someone else's control. We can't hurt him, whatever we do. But he must be stopped. Yes, but can you? 
Then for all our sakes, show me that you will. Save game. Here we go. Oh no! Ma Maria, fight! Oh god! Biaiko, chicken dragon pet. Everything's here. You're not sure these VAs are an improvement. No, no, no. The these VAs have gone from hilarious to mediocre. That that's what's happened. It's um yeah. Uh, the, the the old ones are not better. They are so bad they are good. That's what's actually going on here. I need to use uh, the leather shield. The we, we have to invoke the power of cow, everybody. Get ready. The power of cow! She should only be doing like one point of damage to us now while the power of cow is active. So now we must switch back to the um, to the other, uh, what do you call it? Iron shield, yes. <laughs> She's got iframes. This sucks. Okay, I need to switch back to the uh, Claymore. Since, since she has iframes, there's no reason to do anything other than uh, high po high damage. Yeah. Yep. Hold on a second. Let's uh, equip our Ring of Ares. That's better. Uzaku! The Phoenix God is shooting the crap out of me. You're stronger than I am. You can save Richter. Will you? Please? I can't promise that. But I will stop him. If it must be that way. Here. I found these. Take them. And these are? If you wear them, you can see beyond illusions. Thank you. I go to find Richter. Stay and pray for him. Stay in Dracula's chamber. <laughs> Sit in the corner in a very awkward pose. That is some interesting pixel work with the legs there. That, that is really weird, actually. Looks a bit twisted up. Yoko from uh, the Gurren Lagann dub. I think I've seen a couple episodes of that. I think you're right. Yes, I, I, I think you are correct. Okay. I don't need the spike breaker mail anymore. More. Give me defense. Is there really nothing else in terms of, like, defense? I have zero zero defense on everything. Why? I I don't understand. What's reducing my, like why do I have zero defense? Is it the claymore? Is it the stone mask? Gotta be something. Let's uh try that stone mask and see what that does. Hold on. Uh we need holy glasses anyway. Hmm. Fighting a male. Hmm. Let's bring back the uh, the shield rod. I wish I could uh, dual wield shields. That would be great. See, so, yeah, attack and defense. Yeah, this is really strange. Like I'm looking at my defense score and it's still zero. What am I? What am I inflicted with? Where my defense is just zero forever? Hmm. Hmm. The Ring of Ares, you think? Onk of Life. Yep, it's the Ring of Ares. Thank you very much. Break uh, Breakers 24. Yeah. Spike Breaker is the best uh, armor I got right now. So the Ring of Ares increases your defense at the cost of uh, at the cost of uh, the other way around by giving you yeah yeah. So you basically your defense goes to zero, your attack power goes up. Well, I don't need attack power. I use magic. 
Magic. So what, what, what do I get for magic? Magic pen, Empire Generation Rate. Thank you very much, game. Uh, uh, right. Glass cannon ring. Basically, yeah. I think this is good. I think we got a good setup here. Oh, this way. Damn it. Got it. That'll do it. We're out. I said we're out. Damn it. Not quite, but hey, whatever. Hmm. I'm debating where we're going next. I guess to meet with Richter Belmont. This way. Damn it. There are many types of cheeses. Some of the best cheeses have been aged with their the mold removed. Unfortunately, there are people who uh, try to make cheese or believe that uh, all mold is good for cheese. It's like, oh, you went to the hospital, did ya? Oh, you died, did ya? Uh, this game isn't uh, available on Steam. There's all there's licensing issues with the music. I hear. takes an expert to identify what mold is or isn't safe. The casual person, the casual viewer, is not going to be able to tell the difference. Okay. In Crusader Kings, the Ritual of Immortality will either make your character immune to old age, or it'll kill you right in the spot. One of the two. Of course, the best event in Crusader Kings is where you uh, turn out to be a secret bear in disguise. Yep. I think it was, um, hold on. I think it was, uh, uh hold on. There's like a 0.02% chance of it happening, but, um, hold on. Let me, let me, let me go to Google. It was, uh, uh, Okay. Let me pull it up. I think it's here. Um All right. <clears throat> image in new tab. Yeah, yeah I got to save the image cuz Reddit wants to display it as uh in the Reddit framework. I'm like, "No, you don't." No, you don't fucking Reddit. Okay, here we go. Uh, we got it. So, ahem. <clears throat> here we go. At the last banquet, after polishing off four pots of stew, three trout, and an entire shank of lamb, uh, let's see. Um, okay, in her want, trottling off to her chambers to retire when her vestments caught on the raw edge of a table. 
Before a courtier could come to her assistance, the cloth was torn, ripped straight up the collar, leaving her utterly exposed to the entire hall. If that wasn't scandal enough, uh, they were uh, more, uh, yeah, struck mute by the astonishing realization. She isn't a woman at all, but a bear. Okay? That, that is, uh... And and any children they have will uh, will follow down this line and become bears as well. It's uh, kind of amazing. That is actually an event in uh, Crusader Kings where you you your character can be a secret bear. All right. <clears throat> Let me see here. Whoa! I need to close that. Okay, we're set. Historically accurate, yes. But so is the ritual of immortality, okay? Hmm. Oops. Wrong way. I keep zooming back the wrong way. Must go. One more. Render. Render. Damn it. Oh, we got him. Cool. No, we gotta go up, not down. Not bad. Crusader Kings, yes. We're teleporting to the top of the castle. Yes. Up, up, and away. Damn it. I'm trying. The game does not want me to go up. There we go. That's better. Wrong one. That's the doge. That's better. This way. No, we're done. Let's go fight. We're doing it. Save game. Time to fight Richter Belmont. Destroying the green orb. I've been waiting for you. Answer me. Why is a Belmont planning to resurrect Count Dracula? Dracula rises once a century. One chance for each Belmont to shine. And then we're finished. Forgotten. If I bring him back now, the battle can last for eternity. You have lost your way. So be it, Vampire Hunter. Let your battle begin with me. Okay. Before we do anything else, we need to switch from our iron shield to our uh, leather shield and summon the power cap. Ow! That orb is what we must destroy. That is what is controlling Richter Belmont. Thankfully, we have a uh, damage resistance active. We got him. How inconvenient. But we've only just begun. The Master's Ascension is at hand. We've freed Richter from the mind control. We did it! We did the thing! Behold, 
the truth. That's it. No. What have I done? You saved him, Alucard. Thank you so much. Alucard? The Alucard? You can't be. That was over 300 years ago. Never mind that. Is the man who controlled you in that castle? Yes, I think so. Maria, take Richter and leave here. I'll finish this. All right. Good luck. That's it. Time to go up. To the second castle. The game is half done. But I, alas, am done. I will see you all in about, I would say, 10, 20 minutes with, uh, a, you know, a completely different video game unrelated to Spooky Time. I'm going to be poking around at a thingamabobber. Um, it's, it's going to be uh, very silly. Just a very silly live stream. Yes. So, all right. I uh, will see you all later. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and uh, before we go, um, yeah, yeah, we're set. We're set. Okay. Bye, everybody. See you all in like 10, 20 minutes with other video games.